Did I hear that right? Did I hear that right? I heard get ready for the next battle coming through my speak. Okay, I guess not. Maybe I'm going crazy. I don't know, Tekken does weird shit sometimes. Alright. So today, we're doing Asuka. Oscar. Alright. Now, the way I'm going to do this is, uh, you see the frame data app. I'm running it, right? Let me make sure I have it covering my, um, stream. Alright. Just making sure it runs well. Let's see. Is it working? Alright, looks like it's working. So you guys can see that, right? It's clear, right? Plus 8, negative 2, plus 9, right? Put on the arcade health bars. Who cares about the health bars, dude? <laughs> it's fine. Alright, Asuka's back dash seems good. Seems really good, actually. I don't know, cause she's, maybe it's because she's a small character, so visually it looks good. Uh, and her sidestep looks good. See, I, I don't know how Asuka's uh, sidestep or backdash have been historically. I don't know if she's had like the best or just a good or even an above average one. It looks good though, I'll tell you that much. So, up front, like usual, we start with the jab, right? Now Asuka's jab is a little weird. Asuka is uh, one of the more, uh, more unorthodox characters when it comes to her jab, right? Her jab is still 10 frames, but... For her, according to RB Norway, negative two on block, plus nine on hit. Yeah, negative two on block, right? So then it becomes, but Manny, I thought you said uh, universally you could start um, offense with a with the jab, right? Well, there's always a few special cases for the norm in second, right? And Oscar's one of them. The reason being for her is she has a shitload of strings tied to her uh, tied to her jab with built-in mix-ups of varying degrees. So the thing is, you kind of don't want to be pressuring with just jab into jab as much for her, right? But then you have shit like 1-4, her 1-2, high mid, 1-2-3, or 1-2, charge 3, and then you can let that go early, 1-2, let it go early, and then just becomes a regular hit. One, two, uh, hold three, cancel. <laughs> you know, all sorts of trickery to go with her, with her jab. One, three for high low. So she has this for high low and this for high low. One, four, and one, three. Right? One, two, four. All of that is tied to her one. Everything I just showed. Okay? So the thing is, the other trade off that she has, which makes her block punishment garbage. That's not a natural combo. That's not. That's not. That's. But that's 12 frames. She does not have a 10 frame punisher outside of a single jab. So that's one thing you gotta keep in mind when you're playing Asuka. No 10 frame punisher outside of a jab. As far as I know. So the thing about it is when you connect the jab though, she's at plus nine, so you can run some strong mix-ups off of a jab, but everybody could. So it's not great. But if you do start to catch them with the follow-up hits, yeah, the plus frames are nice. I mean, but it's like it's plus nine instead of plus eight. It's not that big a deal. You get shit like this. You could if you tack on one of the follow-ups, you get, you know, you get that sort of a uh, 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 damage, right? And then there's something about that mid. Let me turn on uh, stat guard on. Oh, that just got cut off, that's all. There it is. The second hit combos into the third hit. Right? So that's how that's kinda how you use her jab pressure. So you got one, two, four, right? So you do the one jab, if they press anything, the two is gonna counter hit them. And then you'll get the four. Um, yeah, it doesn't seem to do anything special on counter hit. Let me do something with my controller. I wanna I wanna put a supercharge button here. Oh, one button rage arts? Get the fuck out of here. No, how do I turn that off? Um, I want a supercharge button. There we go. Okay, good. So, you start to do this to get them to duck or that, and then you mix in this. Well, not that. <laughs> that. <laughs> how you do that? Is it 1-1? One, one? Yeah, she has 1-1 one, one also. I forgot about that. 1-1 uh, one, one is not on RB Norway. Oh, it is. But none of the follow-ups are. That's 1-1-4. One, one, uh, does it have any on counter hit? 1-1-4. One, one, okay, no, it doesn't. 
No, it doesn't. It only combos it to the low and then the high pushes him back. One, one. There's one, one, three. Okay, does that need counter hit? It does. Uh, it does need counter hit. So there's another thing you can mix up counter hit with, right? And that's safe on block. That's unsafe on block. Okay, so even though it, it looks the same with that skyscraper kick, the one off of one two is unsafe on block. Negative twelve. So let's just make sure this is right. I'm still getting used to using the Tekken bot. I haven't used the Tekken bot for this in the past. Huh. There you go. Why does it say negative 21 you died? That's because it's showing the date, the, the whiff date, I think. It's showing some sort of weird data. What matters is when the move connects, whether it's on hit or on block. That's what you get, because then what happens is, if she's not doing anything, I'm going to, you know, it's, so, it's, it's going to become plus 8, even though you see that negative 11 up front. And if I just press 2, it's 0. It shows the proper data. i got to lower this volume a little bit to kind of give me a head. Even though I like this one. Maybe it's got to lower my headset volume. So, my stupid music player keeps overlapping in the chat. I have a lot of windows open on my second monitor. That's why I'm having trouble maintaining. <laughs> I usually only have the chat, uh, RB Norway, and then the game up. And I have to look at my other monitor for the frame data, too. The frame data app. So, up front, you know, Asuka's fucking weird. And it just becomes like, how do you use this uh, this advantage off of this one jab, right? Now, let me see how this stuff works on block. What can she sidestep? On, this is left. So on block, it doesn't seem like she could get around any of the options. Not left, at least. Let's go right. So, there's no moving around any of the options on block. So, I don't know, you know, maybe on hit you should go for better mix-ups. Because... What's the stuff on block? The low, that's negative 11, that's pretty good. That could be low parried, obviously. Um, I will say, if that jab hits you, you're not going to low parry that. Probably. Yeah, you have to block. And of course the same thing is going to happen with uh, that. As a matter of fact, that, I feel like in DR, you, you, you uh, wouldn't be able to low parry it at all, even if you blocked. See, so yeah, on block, you, can, you can now. That was the case for Jin's one down three also. In DR, um, you couldn't, on block, you could not low parry the low. And then after DR, you can. What's up, Seven Flash? How you doing, amigo? As you can see, PC version now. We got the frame data app going. All right. So, okay, she has double lows. Right? Whatever. Right? Okay, good. If the first one hits, you can still look here the second one. If you try to block punish, you still get the block punish. Good. All right, that's too slow. Okay, so while standing two, whatever that is. Let's see, it's a 13 frame mid. So, I exchange the 13 frame mid off of that while standing punish. It's a negative 11 move, she just stops it by itself, which is what good Asuka's gonna do. Uh, I'm noticing it's zero on hit. So, uh, it's not great. It's a way to attack on some damage here, but it's not great. Yeah. So, Asuka has to play a strong neutral, I think not hard for her because she has some really good whiff punishers 
mainly that. We'll get there though. Uh, one three is also zero. So no frame advantage on either. Nothing there. Nothing there, right? Oops. Can't she go into a launcher off of that jab? There it is. That's a high, as you can see. But if that low counter hits you, it's a launcher. So that's how. That's one way you use the jab pressure in this string. So you get them to press buttons after your jab, um, then you all of a sudden throw that out. And they'll get counter hit by the low and then they get launched. And that's a good damage launcher. That's, what was it, 30, 37 points. It's really good damage and they get launched high. So she gets, like, she clearly gets good damage. Look at that. Already, she clearly gets good damage off of that shit. And whatever the hell her bounce string, her tailspin string is. I gotta restart my playlist. Sorry. We're going to the Tekken 2 arcade soundtrack here. Boogoo. <laughs> Lucky. So. Yeah, I got the overlay. So, this is good. And then it becomes a thing where on block, uh, how do I make her block it? Normal here, right? It's negative three with pushback. And that's gonna be a common theme for punishing Asuka. I've never really, really lad punishing Asuka, but there's a lot of this kind of shit going on, right? Similar to let's say Josie too, where it becomes like, oh, like there's, there's highs in her strings, but they push back on block or something like that. In the ultimate case being can-cans, right? Uh, they don't, they still push back, but I thought like they used to push back a lot more. Either way it goes, this is low high, safe on block, 14 frame startup, right? And then it launches on counter hit. So that's like the ultimate example of like, you know, you gotta like, there's a lot of built in highs on her shit that you gotta crouch it under and punish, right? Um, okay, that's okay. So is it down? That's down, okay. One, two, three. That gives her good plus frames on block. Is that true? No, that's not true. It's off of uh, spins. Two spins. If you spin... So this is kind of like uh, Ling Zhaoyu's Mistrust. If I just do a string up front, it's negative two. Oh, man, she didn't block it. She has to block the whole thing. Plus six. Okay, so you only get three tiers of this. You get the instant, you get the unblockable fake out there, or you get the full unblockable. And then you can cancel it at any point. Yeah. The frame rate got a little, a little weird there. So, this is a good string. You've seen Oscar players do this all the fucking time. And now, you, and I didn't know that she was plus on block when she did one, uh, two spins, it says here? Two spins. So that's good to know. And it is mid. So you gotta be careful with this string. One, two, three. That's a good string. Very good string. Uh, I forget if the two counter hit. Oh, did it combo or regular hit? Counter hit. No. It's the same thing on regular and on counter hit. Yeah, it's the same thing on regular and on counter hit. So it will, it will never combo. But the threat of that unblockable could make that plus six mid it makes it even better and I know she has a fast count there we go that's a counter hit knee so there's your setup off of that what was that knee on block that's back for us negative eight so if you get them to block this you can follow up with that all right so that's interesting uh, the cancel is what it is according to RB Norway the cancel you can make it uh, negative 18 so that's the window to launch her or hit her. And it was one, two, four. All right. So now I want to test uh, sidestepping again on a third hit to these strings. Okay, so the four you can't get around. Um, is this a high if she doesn't delay it? Okay, no, it's a mid. 
Alright, yeah, those lows you can't really sidestep. Let's go the other way. Okay, so that 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 plus on block one has like no tracking, right? So what happens if she delays it, like charges it? Okay, it gains tracking. I feel like this follows you, if I recall. Oh, she, she got hit. Yeah, that follows you. So you will need to sidestep it late or hit her out of it. That's what makes that shit scary. Without the delay, it has zero tracking, but when you, when you do the charge, it has a lot of tracking. See if I can get around this if I delay my movement. Too early. Okay. Usually, I feel like I might be wrong about this, but usually it's still like unblockables. I thought she could counter them, but at least she could do it for this one. I don't know if I can time this, if it's possible. Okay, there it goes. You gotta time it really well. Yep. Right when she swings it. Huh? <laughs> Sidestep. So you can get around that shit for sure. Of course, you can also interrupt her, just like that. Uh, not that she has a 10 frame counter hit, really. What was it? One. Did 1 4 counter hit combo? I forget. Oh shit, the better version of King's Team from, Ta from Tekken 2. The arcade version. Let me test this again, I forgot already. Well, combo don't counter hit? Okay, so all her stuff combos are counter hit, right? Yeah. Oh, so this is a this is a ten frame counter hit stream. One, uh, one, two, four, and that wall splats and wall carries. Did she get a free follow up? It says I'm plus eighteen, but is there anything that's plus eighteen that reaches? That's twenty frames, so it doesn't reach. Uh, down back three. Down back four, maybe. Too slow. Down back three. Too slow. Oh, that's that new shit. Maybe that works. No. How about they stay down and they don't tech? Not that they shouldn't. They should always tech in that situation, I think. Unless they're at the wall. Okay. Well, that won't reach them. Oh, I thought this hit grounded. Oh, it does. This is one of those with the weird angles. Or maybe it's just an Asuka specific thing where her hurt box doesn't quite stick out that way. Weird, right? You gotta be at their side for this shit. Yeah, this might just be an Asuka thing. Maybe most characters do get hit grounded consistently with this. Down forward three. Uh, I've seen like Aris and other Asuka players use it a lot. This is a new move. But it seems like it's not good against Asuka. Good to know. If you have a skinny character, you could probably count on that whiffing. follow up to 1-3, right? Oh, okay. Okay. So the only actual proper counter hit string is the one that's negative 12. Bah, that one. Alright, good to know. 1, 2, 4. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, negative 11 on the low. Got everything covered so she could go into the same lows that she could like from just going right to down back four it's the same shit so remember that that's that's gonna be key get that low to counter hit and then three to launch oh shit big theme this shit's fine um so remember that all right that's her jab series she has a. Uh, a way to go one one sweep, doesn't she? This game is very intimidating for a casual, but you know, what? It, as long as you have fun, don't worry about being casual or not. I get it now with the streaming age, ever since Street Fighter 4 made it popular to stream fighting games, right? A lot of people feel like there's that separation between the pros, you know. And uh, and uh, the casuals, right? 
And I, I feel like ever since that separation happened, people start calling anyone that just knows how to play a fighting game a pro. Don't let that fucking... Bro, let me tell you something. There's like... These little tiny point zero 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 one percent of the players that are playing these games that are actual pros. Unless it's KOF where there's like nobody playing it except for like a couple of casuals and hardcores, right? But if it's a game like Tekken, which is popular enough to have like a big following in Just Ass, NRS games, and Street Fighter, yes, even Street Fighter V, uh, <laughs> most of the people you're playing against are going to be like whatever, right? Most of the people that get the game aren't even going to be playing online that often, at least not past the first week. At this point, I bet you most of the casual people dropped off of online second, you know? Um, but Tekken does have a pretty reasonable uh, casual following. And then you get the fact that a lot more new players are interested in this one. It's a good time to learn Tekken. This is the easiest Tekken to learn, which helps me teach it and help me, helps me learn it more myself. I've been playing Tekken at a reasonable level since, I guess, after DR. And, um, and then it makes, uh, it, it makes it so you have a, a newer player base to, like, learn off of. You know what I'm saying? You don't just go in and get slaughtered online. You can actually find people that are, like, just in the same position that you are. As long as you're having fun, don't worry about the pros. Is this the real Manny Biggs? <laughs> that, that's your gimmick now, Gay okay, You got me. What up, each name? Just have fun, man. Just have fun. Don't worry about being good. I'm not good. I'm trash. But I, I know enough about the game to help you know other people learn it. So that's why I do these streams. Lord knows, like, tutorials are, are hard for hard to come by in Tekken, except for, like, the short-form shit where it's like, here's the top 10, 15 moves for this character, and, like, here's, like, one, two sentences about how to use the move. I just spent the first 15 minutes here talking about her jab strings, and that's a fucking fraction of her move list, you know what I'm saying? So my niche is to go through the full move list and talk about the various ways I think this, this stuff could be applied, you know? And then you could actually use this, maybe not all at once, but come back to these videos when I upload them to the YouTube downstairs. Scroll down, I'm going to see that. And you could slowly learn. And based on well, the way I go through one character, you could use that method yourself on another character that you like more than maybe Asuka. I don't like Asuka. I don't give a fuck about Asuka. I hate losing to her, though. So I'm going to do this. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's how I roll. I'm not, yeah, I'm not really making fun of specific people, the main man or King J. No, that, that, that's not my intention. I'm saying that most people that make guides for, like, games like this online, they're doing those short-form guides, which are fine. Like, especially good for people who already know Tekken. And it's like, I just want to know some basics for this character. Those are great. But for people that are new to Tekken, I don't think those are very good. I think Tekken has way too much going on for it to just be, here are Oscar's best moves, that... It's a good whiff punisher. She has a hop kick, right? Oh, that. She, she, she does have a hop kick, right? Oh, she, yeah, she has a hop kick. She got that. Oh, and uh, that's a pretty good move. And, and that. And, and then uh, this full crouch mix up. That's good too, right? She gets a mix up for full crouch. That or mid, right? Mid, right? All right, now go play Asuka. You know, no, fuck it. And this, this full launch uh, throw from crouching. You know, <laughs> they get a combo off of. Now go online. No, come on. There's too much going on. Uh, so anyway, moving on. Now we got the two jab, which is not really a jab. It's a 12 frame high. And like I said, 2-1, that will be our 12 frame punisher. <laughs> um, this is plus 8. So that's good frame advantage on hit. The damage is shitty. She, it's basically 19. That's basically your average 1-2 damage, like between 17 and 19. So um, for 10, for basically your average 10 frame punish, she gets that much. Does she get anything after that? Two three maybe. There we go. There's the actual twelve frame punches. Two three. That knocks down. I don't know if that wall splash. That animation tells me it might not wall splash. I think it does. Um. Oops. Negative nineteen. Holy shit. Do not use this in the neutral. Use this to punish only. Negative nineteen. Fuck. What's nineteen frames? I guess it's down forward too, right? Okay, 
so there's some pushback on this. But uh, it's very bad on block. What about shadow block? Might as well figure it. Okay, well, it seems like. Uh, it seems like at least Asuka is pretty good at punish. Uh, she does move forward quite a bit, so it'll be hard to make this shallow block. Yeah, nah. There's no spacing this out. Uh, two, three is 12 frames. You see, you see, uh, I don't know if you can see the green text. Oh, it says 13. Yeah, this might be one of the cases where this thing is wrong. How can I test this? Fucking Oscar's so weird. Um, I can't use a standard jab to test this to make sure, can I? How the fuck can I test this with Asuka? Let's see. Um, negative three. If I put her at negative three and do a one jab. Let's see. So that's negative three on block. Assuming that that's right. Right? It should exchange. If it's 13. Nope, it's beating her. That makes you think it's 12. Because she's doing negative 3 into one into a 10 frame jab. Right? What's going on, NBS? Yeah, so I, I'm going to go with negative 12 on this. Uh, I'm sorry, negative 12. 12 frames, not negative 12, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm just going to go by that. I think that's. I think this is a case of this frame data app being... Being a little weird. That's why I still have the RB Norway shit open on the side for that kind of shit. Exactly. Um, this is gonna have two references, I guess. Forward one is ten frames. No, hell no, hell no, Crux. Forward one. What's the startup on that? Twenty frames. One is ten frames. Did I say forward one? If I said forward one, I'm sorry. One is ten frames. All right, so back to, yeah, so uh, about that, uh, since she has a forward plus one, that means she cannot lead her jabs. What do I mean by lead jabs? If a uh, character has uh, jabs and they do not have forward plus one as a move, you could hold forward with their jabs to add a little bit of range uh, without making the jab slower. It'll still be 10 frames. In the case of Asuka, that is forward one, so you can't do it. And that's forward two, so you can't do it with her two either. So there's that. So this is a 12 frame punish. We'll just go for 12 frames for now. But don't do it on block. Don't do it outside of punish. Um, she doesn't have two four, right? She has two one, one plus. So that's her tailspin string, right? So um, fifty four versus how much? Oh, it's the same damage just for doing up 4 4. Wow, her slow hot kick is actually really strong. Hmm. Can she land that? Well, doesn't look like she can. Alright, I'll get back to combos later. Uh, so this is just a string used for, for a tailspin. I don't think it's going to be good in, outside of that, but let's find out. Okay, doesn't combo. Not out for that either. How about counter hit? Okay, counter hit on the, on the second hit will get you that. Uh, two by itself, I don't think this is good enough to fish for that. Like... Negative three on block with 12 frames to start up. I wouldn't do that. Uh, yeah, I know one plus four picks up, but uh, that's the easy way. That's the easy filler. But one plus four is damage. Um, you get two hits out of your juggle for 13 damage. So you, you're talking about scaling, right? Look at that. You're already down to 40% scaling on the next hit, and you do like shitty damage. So uh, unless you absolutely must, or if you're just going for easy combo while you learn the game. I would avoid using 1 plus 4 whenever possible for juggles. Unless you have to. Some combos I know you have to, like uh, counter hit, right? Like, what was it? This? Not that. This? 
I'll counter here, right? Is that it? Or she goes into the sweep. Okay, she goes into the sweep. Never mind. Yeah, uh, it's the same thing with Devil Jin. Uh, Devil Jin, his uh, health sweep once again gives him full juggle on normal hit like it did in DR. Uh, but he has to do a 1 plus 4 also. Uh, unless you have yeah, really good execution, then he has better options. But for the most part, it's 1 plus 4 pickup. So right off the bat, he's destroying the scaling. And it's good, because health sweeps are really good fucking low. <laughs> you know, Full juggle lows that have 17 frames of startup, that's not really a thing. Except for that health sweep. For, uh, double jump. Um, alright. So, 2 1 is, I guess you could use this as a 12 frame punch if you want to keep him standing for some reason. But, I mean, this is fucking 10 points less. Yeah, no, do 2 3. Just do 2 3. Maybe she has good Oki off of that. Uh, I don't know what could reach. What does it say I'm, I'm at? I'm only at plus 9, so maybe the Oki's not great on this. And you don't want to just start throwing out forward 2s like a crazy person. If you get a slight dash forward to it or reach, but I got the I got a feeling if they hold back, you're gonna get fucked. Uh, see if I get this right. I'm trying to get a slight dash into it. There it is. You don't even see the dash there. So if I hold back, do I get a punish? Nope. Uh, at the very least, it's a it seems to be a maybe a free whiff. Depending on the matchup. Uh, so what if I stand straight up? Okay, it hits me if I stand straight up. Can I block it, though? No, it whiffs. Ah, oh, that's just like I can block it if I get up that way. I have a match wake-up kick. Oh, I tech. You can tech. I didn't even... For Why did I forget about teching? I'm an idiot. You can tech that. All right. I don't know. Maybe it's because it's the backflip on the knockdown that made me think you couldn't tech it for some reason. That's stupid of me. You can tech it. Fuck that shit. There's no... The Oki's whatever off of that. The Oki's dash up maybe into something, into that. Then you have to be careful of what you do. Maybe that sets itself up. 443, was it? No, 444. What was it? 444? 443. It was 443. Okay. Oh my god. My 2 piece side execution is trash. Look at that. I can't even get 443. There's something wrong with my alignment. Okay. Maybe something with the execution, uh, with the, uh, recovery. Okay. So can I beat that with anything? Uh. Okay. I'm trying to see if I can counter in time. Oh, you're forced to block. And it's homing, so it tracks both ways. So that 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 could be your mid follow up, right? And then that'll get them to either get up and block or stay down. Yeah. See, even if I hold back, that's good. That's good. And then that wasn't a punish. There you go. You got to be sharp to get that timing down. And it's a rust me if I try to wake up kick. So. That would be your option to either keep them down or keep them uh, blocking when they get up. And then you can mix that up with the dash up it's a low. But the dash up it's a low will be risky because then you risk eating a wake up kick. Or a wake up low counter hit kick that gives jumps. So that's how the Oki off of that is going to work. Solid, like, at that 443 I forgot about it. That's a good Oki tool in general. It's a good homing move and a good Oki tool. What is that on block anyway? How can I get her to block it? Oh. Uh, by making her block. It's only it's negative nine, so it's safe. Good move. <sighs> What's up, Puffkin? How you doing? All right. So two three, good move, good move. And two one one plus two, safe on block. All right, the two one jail. Forward. Two one doesn't jail, and the highs don't jail. But the double high in the end jails. 
so yeah, yet another reason I would recommend not using this move <laughs> in the new in the uh, neutral situation. Like I said, if you want to be crazy, you could fish for counter hits by just doing a couple of twos, and then when they mash, you do the whole string, and then the second it will counter hit them, and you'll get the whole string. And that is a lot of damage. That is 40 damage at the start of your combo right there. So it's good damage. If you want to start, like, getting that bait out, and then when they duck, you do that. But then that's slow punishable, so that's why I think it's gimmicky if you want to use it that way. But that option is there. Alright, next we got standing three. 14 frames. There's a 14 frame punish. Plus two. Does she have a follow up on that? Uh -huh. Negative 11 on block, huh? Hmm. Ah, there you have it. That ain't combo. Not comboing. I just think she could, she could sack maybe. Yeah. She gotta get something free off of this, doesn't she? Up forward two is a good fourteen frame. She gotta ah uh, Shay, you would know. She gotta get something for free off of this, right? Off of this counter hit. Uh. That's kind of nuts if she gets nothing. Down forward three. Ah, uh, the new shit. Dash. Mm. Slight step forward, maybe. Mm. It's not looking good. She doesn't get the stun on. Okay, no. She has to get caught on a second of the long. Mm. Yeah, it's not looking good. Ugh. I don't know. I'm gonna assume. That at near the wall, she'll get a pickup if she gets nothing here. <laughs> Never been put in a situation for that. All right, all right. Well, whatever. There's a there's a counter hit stun there, and I'm sure when you're near the wall, she'll get something. Oh shit! Mid boss team. Uh, well, three one, and then somebody said up four. Oh, this is a hit throw. That's four. That's her actual 14 frame punish. That probably gives good Oki too. What is this frame data app say? It says zero. I don't know if that's right. But how does he put wake up kick on? Execution! Nah, I thought that hit grounded. Guess not. Alright, I was just curious. Uh, 3 1 is kind of throw it out for easy hit confirm. Alright. Yeah. How lenient is that? Oh, that's super. Oh my god. You could delay this to the max and it combos. That's pretty sick. Yeah, so no matter how much you delay that, you get a hit confirm there. So, if you're good, it doesn't matter that it's negative 11, because they'll never block it. 
Unless you really want to fish for counter hit off of this. And it is mid. I'll have to track you on that second hit. Not that uh, it's going to matter if they could confirm it, right? Alright, so. Doesn't matter if I delay it. Ooh. Okay. So with delay, you could get, you could, you could, with max delay. Okay, with maximum. Damn. Well, maybe not. <laughs> I wouldn't count on that. So that's the move we use for the neutral situation. Because of that hit confirm. Good move. Uh, she has a magic four. And 11 frame magic four. Right? Is it just a pick up for this? This dash one four? Yeah, ooh. I got the loader combo, but not the. Hmm. What's the pick up for this? I'm sure she has something hard. There it is, dash neutral 2 1. Also, the range isn't great on this. I feel like a lot of Magic Fours would uh, hit from this range. Her is just, just short. But hey, it's 11 frames, so get fucked, Oscar. I don't care. Uh, forward 2 if you want an easy one hit combo. Damn, I got it once. I can't get it again. It is 1 plus 4. That shit, that shit wasn't comboing consistently at all. Gotta be used to that shit. Ha! Yeah, and uh, it's not comboing. Is it just the number fucking with me, or am I too slow? Turn on that tech. Wow, that picked up there. So I guess it's just not showing as a combo. Maybe that is that is actually a combo, but it's not showing as a combo for some reason, because I turned tech on. Right? No, I'm an idiot. Sorry. Wrong one. Man, he sucks. There it is. So this is a hard pickup. If you're not used to it. There it is. Oh, but then <laughs> fucking the shit whiffs. Is this just an Asuka thing because she's small? I got the 2-1 more consistent than I got this. I don't know. You Oscar players, you pick your poison. Yeah, it's probably just me being too slow. But hey, you uh, new people to tech, and if you just want something, you can get that off of that. Until you uh, practice the combo and you get it down. Uh, and you're going to want to do that, because an 11 frame Magic 4 is very good. Negative 7 on block. Okay. With some pushback. Is that right? No, no pushback. Not really. Still. Magic 4. Real good shit. Uh... Should I test the tracking on this? It's gonna be weird to test their tracking because she's gonna put herself at negative two. <laughs> Whatever, it works at negative two, it'll work at like negative three probably, so maybe. Not much tracking on this stuff. I ain't tested tracking on her too. I should do that too while I'm here. Maybe I should put a neutral situation, right? I think I get hit by the low, 1 3, and then try it. Right. Yeah, no tracking on that shit. Oh, one four two. You have to actually do the. So it make it makes it a second hit whip. It's hard.
hard pickup. Okay, there you go. So the second hit of 1 plus 4 whiffs, and he do 1 plus 4 2, and then the 2 connects, and then you go to whatever the hell the fucking follow up is. Not that. It's still kind of hard. I'm dropping mad frames. I see that shit turning red constantly up there. <laughs> this shit is hard. Get stuck in a combo vortex here. Alright. Well, that's the pickup. Hey, Drake's here. Uh, yeah, so that's what I was trying to do, Shay, but I couldn't get the fucking 1 plus 4 to pick up over and over again. Either way, as Shay just said in the chat, you do the 4, you pick up, and you go into that, and then you do this, and that tail spins, and then whatever the hell the follow up is. That's the combo off of Magic Park. <coughs> Alright, I need a sip of water. That's our Magic 4. Unless we got three tilde four piano style. So this is a jungle starter. I don't know if it was before, but it is now, right? Yeah. And that while standing four pickup, uh, she records crouch and she can go just mash four right after. It puts them back feet towards, so that's good. That means you don't get some bootleg ass combo off of that, right? Oh, that picks up too. Yeah, easy. While standing four, two, one, one plus two. I'm sure there's better stuff. Uh, three till the four uh, is super unsafe on block though. Negative twenty six. It's probably gonna be step. If I were to guess. Oh man, it's gonna be hard to do. I'm gonna have to record this. This is not consistent because it's too slow below. I'm gonna have to just record and try to time my step. Let's It's like I thought. It, it probably is just really good against step, but walk, it's got, it ain't got shit as long as you walk pretty early. That shit doesn't follow you at all. You could just jug off it before. Uh, I'm one of the OG Ares subs? Yeah. <laughs> I guess you could call me that, yeah. I'm one of his mods. Um, you think if you landed it... Oh, you talking about the Magic 4 combo? Oh, you talking about the the sweep? <laughs> oh, emoji. <laughs> I guess that works. Yeah. All right. Either way, this is a pretty good move. It is like seeable, but if you hold, oh, was it down, down back? There you go. If you hold down back, she cancels it to crouching, and this is important. She has a couple of moves like this, like forward two down, right? Ooh, this is the console version of Hihachi's team. This shit's tight. You so reminds me of Bloodsport, but anyway. Um. That cancel is pretty good. It's pretty good. Don't whore it out, but uh, you'll see why when I get to her full crowd stuff. I'll give you a hint. Uh, this low is really good. <laughs> she has a good full crouch mix up. So, and she has that grab from full crouch that launches. So she has a strong full crouch game. So anything that cancels into a crouch like that, you know, as long as you could cause that hesitation in people, which she definitely could fucking do that. It makes it uh, even better than just having a sweep by itself. How early does it crush? Hmm. OK, 
Okay, so at negative three, she's not she's not crushing the ten, but she's crushing the twelve, not the thirteen. So wait, negative two, four frames. So it needs five frames to crush, right? Is my math right there? She put herself at negative two, and then twelve frames she ducks on it, so it crushes on the fourth fourth frame, right? Fourth frame. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I suck at math, even arithmetic. There you go. Am I going to evil? Nah, I don't have the money to, to travel. What's the starter frame for what? Uh, uh, three till the four? Three till the four is uh, 26 frames to activate, to hit, to impact. Who wants to ask that question? I have a black background, so your name is like Sneaky Saint. <laughs> So yeah, the, uh, that that low is uh, 26 frames to start. You see it in the green uh, text in my frame rate thing up, up there in the middle. Uh, so you'll see it says, I don't know why it says plus three, plus four, but it says low, then 26 frames to start up, 22 damage. It doesn't know how much it is on lock apparently. And the tracking, as you saw earlier, it tracks that pretty well, but it loses really bad to walk. I don't even need to time it for the walk. You can just walk super early and that shit. Like, I can start my walk mad early. Oh, right when I talk some shit, right? <laughs> so you need a little bit of timing if you go towards one side. If you go, oh, well, you, okay, you need a little bit of timing. <laughs> okay, you do need some timing. <laughs> I take what I said back. <laughs> Ugh, I was doing it so good before. There you go. I guess if you're gonna walk it, go go away from the move. Don't go towards the sweep. Damn! Now all of a sudden it's catching me like crazy. It was easy before. This might be a character thing. I don't know. Either way it goes, this is gonna change the timing. That's it. Someone knock on my door. All right, next we got one plus two. This move is fucking cheap. This is gonna be your up close whiff punisher, and even if you don't use it as a whiff punish, it is a bit slow. Uh, what is it? 16 frame startup. Okay, it's not that slow, but uh, it's safe on block mid launcher. Mid launcher. I know she can pick up with that into whatever, right? Yeah, whatever, whatever the follow up is. Is that it? Okay, that's that new shit, right? Oops. You gotta dash deep for that, don't you? There you go. Oh, no, there you don't go. Wow. That kid just whiffs. Whatever. Whatever the follow-up. <laughs> I'm sure she gets something good. Arc Blast. Yeah, that's what that shit is called for Lars. Yeah. Like I said, Lars this isn't safe, right? Uh, Asuka's is safe. Uh, the range is kind of shit, and it is a big whiff. So keep that in mind. That's why I call it an up-close whiff punisher. Don't, don't throw it out from, like, back here when you see a whiff. That's not a good idea. Although you'll see some, like, Asuka players and Lars players. Fuck, it's not just Asuka. They'll just throw it out from back here in case you run in on them. Uh, if you see it, if you notice uh, Oscar or Lars player doing that shit, be ready for that whiff punishing, because it's pretty slow in the recovery. Uh, I don't think it tracks much, or at all. Okay. Sounds like a, a, a computer is farting with this song. Yeah, no tracking on that shit. That's a zero frame situation, right? So. Still, that's definitely one of her key moves. Okay, next we got 3 plus 4. No, that's not 3 plus 4. 3 plus 4. <laughs> this is an important move for Oki right here. This is a move that hits grounded consistently, right? At least it used to. Let's make sure it still does. And if she gets that unique animation when she hits grounded where she hops off of it. No matter the angle, and of course it jumps over. Wow, that that was a little weird, and that created more space. That's interesting. When she connects in a, at a weird angle like that, you get it creates more space. I don't know if that really means anything for you or the opponent, 
Do you want to stay close with her? Because I don't know where her recovery is when she does that hop off. Like right there, if you do it on alignment, right? Face up, feet towards you. Yeah, her feet, and you do it. You're like right there. And that's just whiffs. But if you're too close, you jump off the other side. Weird stuff. Can't attack when that hits you? Let me make sure it's not the AI. I waited too long. Another gun. Wow, you can't check when I hit you. That's interesting. I didn't know that. I don't know if that breaks the floor. I'll have to test that when I switch stages later. Uh, but that's one of those... Usually when you get hit with a grounded hit, unless it's a stomp maybe, or maybe not even. Maybe included when you hit a stomp. Usually when you get hit by a grounded hit, uh, or a hit that hits you grounded, you could tech right after. It doesn't seem like I can there unless the timing is strict. I didn't know that. That's been around since fucking forever and I didn't know that shit. I don't recognize this song. Apparently this is a Tekken 2 track. What is this? Late Night, it's called. Probably an ending thing. Anyway, uh... She, re she could recover crouching on this if you hold down, or down back, or down forward. That's interesting. This is 3 plus 4, by the way, in case I didn't say that. Knocks down a normal hit, negative 6, negative six on block, it says. My alarm going off. Seems to go off at AM, not PM, you stupid alarm. Alright. Negative six. No variables on this, right? Yeah, no, it's always negative six. Uh, even if you all crouch, right? That could be useful, I guess, if you set it up off of the Oki like I did before, because that full crotch low, in case they get up, maybe? I don't know. Or if they wake up kick, right? Let's see. So when she does that stomp, when she hits some ground, and you cannot recover crouching. Okay, I was curious. So this is only like in a neutral situation when you hit them regular, it should go to crouch. All right. Or if you were to end a juggle with this to spike them, I guess. Like what was it? Uh... Okay, dash into that. That should lag mad whole D when I ran up. Uh, in that situation, you still get the stupid animation. Yeah, I got the frame that shit working. It still hitches, though, my frame rate. Like, it's going into the red fairly often. It's dropping, like, three or four frames. And I visually notice it, too, when it happens. So, you got my shitty execution on top of me dropping frames in the game. And uh, I'll just start whiffing stuff like crazy. Alright, this is an interesting move. How does this track? This move been around since day one. What is this rock ballad? Yeah, so there's no inherent tracking in it. Oh, it's that depressing jack ending. 
when the satellite cannon hits him. Okay. There's no real, no one here tracking in that move. So, um, still is a pretty solid low crush. Let me see something. How about if I do, uh, I can't set up a, how fast are her lows? I can set up 12 frames, right? Can I set myself up with just, if I plus six? I'm gonna set up a plus six, that's seven frames to crush, right? Not that. Um, one, two, four. One, two, three. Okay. Okay. So I set myself up uh, in a situation where I have seven frames to crush. I think if I'm at, if my math is right. So that's a really good low crush. I already knew that going in. The hop kick doesn't work. A four here doesn't work. What about three plus four? Okay. I had a feeling. I, I feel like I tested this a long time ago. This is a very good low crush. This is a good move. That makes this a, a, a really good move. So, I, I already knew that down plus three plus four, her can cans, uh, crushes very early. I don't know exactly how much. I think I gave myself six or seven frames to crush there. For reference, I put her at plus six and I did a 12 frame low. Right? So I think, uh, whatever, you do the math, right? Um, can I put her in a better situation? Let me give myself three frames to crush. Okay, so. Yeah, definitely not at three frames to crush. Uh, what's plus eight? I think it's plus eight, plus nine, plus seven. Alright, at plus seven, I could crush it. I put her at plus seven, I do a 12 frame line crush. I put her at plus nine, I couldn't crush. Uh, anything is plus eight? Uh, how do I test crush rates on a starter move? That's what I'm doing right now, a disgustingly normal human. <laughs> I'm putting myself at various frames and testing. Here we go, plus eight. And we got 12 frame low. There we go, we found the edge. Alright, so they both need the same frames to crush low. 3 plus 4 and down 3 plus 4, can cans. Uh, at plus 8, it loses. At plus 7, it wins over a 12 frame low. Putting my, my opponent out. So, whatever that means for the math, which I don't know, I'm all, my, my brain's all over the place. Somebody, uh, somebody do some arithmetic for me in the chat while I look up the next move. All right, next we got the one plus four series. All right, now this is some shit that uh, a lot of newer players that uh, jump on Asuka get owned up by and and rely on. Whether they're using Asuka, they rely on it. Whether they're against Asuka, they get owned up by it, right? And I gotta admit, this shit to this day kind of owns me up, right? And I kind of already know what to do against this string. This, this string, kind of already know, but I never really got. Uh, I suck. That's, <laughs> that's the point. So one plus four is is a uh, low high, right? And then she gets 1 plus 4, 2. Low, high, high. So then she gets 1 plus 4, 2, 1. Okay, so that's all highs. Then uh, 1 plus 4, 2, 4. Goes into a mid. That used to not, that used to wall splat. It doesn't seem to anymore. And then 1 plus 4, 2, down 4 for that knockdown low. And I think that starts juggles. Yeah, whoops. You go to down back 4, 3. It's not gonna work, is it? Nope. Um, that seems like a really unreliable combo in there. I feel like I saw Aris doing that shit. Alright, so then it becomes, alright, that stupid mid in the end. Ugh. Right? Or that low. That mid got nerfed. The answer is you duck the third hit. That's the actual answer. Or you stop it in the first place. But if you get hit by the low and then she goes into it, you gotta, like, guess, right? She doesn't have, like, a mid after that second high. 
And if she just stops at the second high, is this a natural combo? I don't think it is. Yeah, it's not a natural combo. It's negative three. If you do happen to block the low, um, you could launch the high, but it, the window is tight. You'll get hit by that second high, I think. Record both options here. Oh, that was the, I did the mid first, right? So, yeah, if you uh, get hit by the second high, then the third high is gonna combo. Yeah, so the, the those two are natural combo. Uh, but if you get hit by the low, you can still block the high and then you can duck it. Wow, it actually just holding back and pushing back. Look at that. I didn't even know that. It whiffs. It doesn't whiff enough so you could like, jab her in between. But, oh, there's the fireworks. Can she crouch that from standing? Down one. Just from holding back, just because I'm holding back because of the new back walk, you kind of accidentally step away from the second hit anyway. Oh, it jails! I feel like this didn't jail before. Maybe I'm crazy, but I feel like this didn't jail before. Any old school Oscar players know? Remember? It jails now, huh? All right. That's interesting. Well, I guess the trade-off is uh, if you if you happen to be holding back and you get that second into whiff, you could actually try to duck and you could get it by accident. But it looks like it fucking jails. That's annoying. All right. Well, if you have to guess, guess low. What's her wall, whatever her wall standing launcher is. It's wall standing three, right? Well, that works. There it is. The low is launch punishable. Negative nine on the mid, though. Well, at least the mid doesn't knock down. Damn. Fuck. You cannot duck the third hit. Well, like I said, if you're holding back, the second hit is going to whiff, and then you'll be able to duck the third hit then. Right. Oh, I think this while standing three is one of those high crushing while standing launches. So you don't even have to, if you duck a high, this will, you don't have to worry about your timing. Your average while standing move, you have to kind of worry about the timing, or else you get jabbed in the face. Like that. Let me see something. Yeah, it looks like she doesn't have to worry about that shit. See? I'm gonna hit out everything else though. The exchange there. Uh, so that's a good thing to know too. Lucky motherfucker. Uh you used to duck jab the third hit, right? But it seems like the the third hit jails now. The second hit jails with the third hit now. Unless you're, hold, you're holding back, because uh, this is from uh, Tekken Revolution. In the older games, when you hold back, you wouldn't really get a walk like this. This actually creates more space than the old shuffle back step used to. So it seems like because of that, you just naturally kind of sometimes make the second hit whiff. Uh, she's taking forever to start it. See? It's just kind of whiffing naturally. But if you get, like, if she dashes up into it and gets you up close, you're going to have to block. And then you're going to have to guess in that situation. Uh, what's her armor move? Four, one plus two? Will that beat the low in time? I doubt it. Uh, especially if I'm getting hit. Yeah, no. No way in hell. Will it put me airborne? Ooh, it does put me airborne. Now, why do I think this is interesting? That 
hitting me airborne makes it do 70% uh, damage instead of 100%. But it is... Uh, yeah, it's doing less damage. You see, it's taking off the Y, in, in, above the Y in my game, in my gamer tag up there. And usually it goes a little bit past the B, so you get less damage if she happens to go low, you'll launch her. Uh... Okay, that's not a counter hit, so I won't. It punishes, but it doesn't counter hit. So if you have a, a quick low crush as an option, that could be a decent way to fuck with this move. Maybe you don't do that when you back us to the wall, though, because then she'll probably wall splash you when you get a combo, but that's another thing to consider. Yeah, Shade. That, okay, I knew I wasn't going crazy. Thanks for thanks for verifying that for me, Shade. That is a buff for that string in this game. So the mid, the, the mid losing the knockback is a nerf. The mid used to knock back on normal hit, uh, but they in exchange they made that they made it so you cannot duck the third high. So that's interesting. Oh, this is starting for ten hit combo. Oh, not even. It's not her 10 hit combo. It's just, um... So what's going on there, it looks like, uh, you could do... Oh! I don't know if that's really a, a proper 10 hit combo. So what's going on there, if you do 1 plus 4, 1 plus 4, 2, 1, that 1 in the end is the same data as her regular jab. And then because of that, it's still, you could just go into her jab strings. See? Interesting. Huh. And then the data is the same out of those jab strings. I didn't know that. But that high definitely won't jail. That would be stupid if it did. That's the fireworks. I don't know if you guys hear that. For the record, I live on a 19th floor and you'll still hear those fireworks loud as day. Wow, it's hard to fucking... Alright, I'll get that. frames. There's another one. Alright. <laughs> so that's fucking string. Super annoying. Uh, and of course you could go into this and it looks like the the data is probably the same if I were to guess. So this is 1 plus 4, 3. Blocking it. Yep, the data's the same. Still plus six when you when you charge it like that. All right, tricky shit, tricky stuff. Uh, I guess the only thing I don't yeah consider if she does this into this, if you look out for it, is uh, get ready to sidestep. Here's what I think. If you're worried about her um, mixing up that with that, if you try to input a sidestep, this will make it so you'll be forced to block. So you get a free sidestep input, which means if she does this instead, you're still going to be able to sidestep. That's my prediction. Let's see if I'm right. So just for the record, right?
Oof. So, the weird thing about this is that whiff on the second hit that I'm making makes it weird. It makes it harder to sidestep, oddly enough, right? Maybe you're gonna wanna go right. Yeah, you're gonna wanna go right, I think. Yeah, I'm right. Because of that jail, you could you get a free input, so you could OS this. Whoa, just don't let that happen. Hit, hit you in the face where I thought. Uh. Oh, one plus four to an unblockable for the wall combo. That combos? That's pretty good. Yeah, the wall setup. The wall might change things. I don't know. I think maybe you could still sidestep it. Um, so this is for if they tech. That's what you're saying? Then they'll tech into the unblockable? It's a classic wall setup. This used to be, um, what is it? This? There you go. That used to be a, a high unblockable in VR. Then they turned into a mid. In the later games, pretty fucked up. Like they kept, they made it so the mid was uh, was without the unblockable, and then you would have to duck in the end for the unblockable. All right, and just like the other ones, you could cancel us. Ooh, I like this song. This song's sick. All right, two plus three. Ah, this is a sabaki. A parry with an auto attack attached to it. That's why her hand is up like that before she does the kick. Um, I forget if the parry changes the animation on this. But that is a combo starter. You are right to down back 4-3. Uh, the angle's weird. I don't know if you got a usual, the usual pickup. You do? Okay, good. It works. I didn't even need to hold forward or dash or anything. You just input it. And then whatever the hell the fucking second... Oh, shit. That one actually scared me. <laughs> Damn. Uh, oh, it was high attack? I didn't know that. Damn. Is he a blockable high? Let me see. No, it's mid. Why? It was high attack. Huh, interesting. Good to know. I ain't know. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter now, but fuck tag. Okay, so it says it absorbs one higher mid hit. Does it absorb means? I steal this off a jab. That was a counter hit. Yikes. Okay, so it follows the rules of uh, no knees or elbows, I guess. No kicks, so this is only punches. This is only punches, okay. So it's not that it's an elbow. Does she have an elbow? Uh, while standing one, right? Okay, it, it, it doesn't follow the counter rules, the regular counter rules. So it, it beats elbows. She doesn't have, oh no, that, that's not an elbow. That's an elbow, I'm sorry, I take that back. Okay, it does follow the rules. It doesn't beat elbows. So I, I could assume it doesn't beat headbutts either. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. So it seems like a, the, da the damage is the same up, I think. Uh, I mean, let's just have her do jab to jab, right? Twenty-one damage. Yeah, so the damage is the same, and if you counter, I don't think she gets any, um, if you parry, I don't think she gets any unique combo, like, this. it's the same combo, right? It looks like they're closer, actually. Wow. It does change, change the combo. Um, yeah, it doesn't work. So if you get a parry, you gotta do something different. You have to pick up 1 plus 4? You have the 1 plus 4. Is there a better pickup shape? Or do you have to go with one plus four? So a successful parry makes this do shittier damn. Ooh. I 
I'm try sidestepping first, it didn't quite work. Well, whatever, you can pick up with 1 plus 4 until, uh, until you find something better, if there is something better. I didn't test the tracking on 1 plus 4. You never used that move? Wow. I feel like I've seen Oscar players. Uh, I don't know if I'll say good Oscar players, but I definitely have seen Oscar players use that move. <laughs> I mean, if you're going to go for like a, a read on a parry, you don't have to go for such a slow move, right? It's just built in defense when you could just use regular tech and mechanics for your defense. So maybe it's, a good, it's not such a good idea to rely on that kind of shit anyway, right? Um, I was gonna test the tracking on uh, what was that test? One plus four, right? So the high in catching. Ooh, to her left. This version of this team is so sick. Okay, so it's pretty good to her left side. So let me actually record it now. Uh, it's, it's fucking hard to do this because she has a built-in strength. Whew. Oh man. So you kind of have to... Either you go into a, a high crush or you just go for jabs right away. Without any, like, with almost no confirmation. Like... You have to like predict if you really want to sidestep and punish this shit. Her down for two ducks highs, right? Maybe that'll work. Yeah. Oh, she has one of those. Man. So this could be used as a safe on block. Oh, they're both safe on block. What am I saying? This could be used as an up close with punish too, but it's less damage and uh, it probably doesn't launch crouchers on normal hit if I were to guess. He counter it. It's one of those. So uh, stick with one plus two as you up close mid hitting with Punisher. It's a little slower though. That's nothing I keep going. Down forward two would be faster. All right, and then the I forgot how sick this song was. Shit. Um, two plus three. Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> it looks like it should track to that side. We're done. Alright. Uh, that junk is out of the way. Next we have... Ah, yes. So I talked about... Oh, god damn it. It's gonna be all night, Aaron. As long as nothing reaches up here, I'm like looking outside and make sure nobody's throwing shit out their window in the building across from me. You know, I'm on the 19th fucking floor. These projects. Anyway. So now we have one of the reasons to play as Asuka, in my opinion. This is one of the best with Punishers in the game. Right? And the thing about this fucking move is it's super unsafe on block if you fuck up your whip punish, right? But then you, you see it go fairly often, like... I don't want to say unpunished, but you don't see it launched that often, right? Unless it's like a really good player, obviously, that, you know, the really, really good players launched this shit. So I'm not going to say that you're not going to get launched for using this. What I will say is, that's like, you got to react kind of fast to get a full punish on that kind on that fucking move. Because um, it's huh? And then you got to hit your launch right away. There's no, like, block stun, nothing. The moment you block that shit, you have to input your launch to get the full punish on that shit. It's negative 18, and with no pushback... Or very little pushback, at least. He has a little pushback. But not enough that I think you'd have to worry. Maybe in this situation, you'd have to worry a bit, actually. Like a down forward two? Oh, no, down forward two reached. Okay. And otherwise, you whiff. So, I'm not going to be like... I'm not going to say, hey, get all gimmicky and start throwing this shit out, you know. But just keep that in mind. It is uh, fairly fast. 17 frames. And the input is just forward too. That's what, in my opinion, makes it such a good whiff punisher. Because you're moving around and then just bam. Well, not that. 
bam, right, while you're moving around. It's such like, it's a seamless input unless you happen to have been dashing when they whipped. If you're dashing when they whipped, then you're going to get this by accident. But if you're moving in any other direction other than forward, it's just forward too. <laughs> uh, and I, she's always gotten some pretty good damage off because the launch is high. I don't know if she can get that. Uh, well, she gets the hop kick out of it. Uh, what was that? Up forward? Look at that. What's that? 17. That's shit damage. Well, whatever the combo is. Okay, so you can't do a hop kick. She's always gotten pretty good damage off of it. Especially in Tag 2 when it was a tag launcher, but it's not now, so I get fucked. Uh. I don't know how the tracking is on this. I don't think it's. Like, I see a lot of newer Oscar players, they'll just go ham and just toss that shit out there like it's a mix up tool. It's not a mix up tool. It's pretty fast. But it's not something that, like, hey, maybe he thinks I'm gonna go low, like low from here, from back here, so let me make my mid off forward two. Don't do that. <laughs> do do, like, forward two cancels, though. Forward two into down back, it's pretty good shit. Her damage overall seems much better. Yeah, it was really trash in like Tekken DR and, and Tekken 5. And Tekken 6, I don't remember her damage being all that crazy either. But in this game, it, her damage actually seems really fucking good overall. Um, and if, like I said earlier, if you press uh, down or down back, or down forward, so any any of the down directions, you're going to get the cancel. So this is a way to get in somebody's face crouching really fast if you got them scared from the mid-range. You get right in their face and just try to force your mix up. Unless they press buttons. If they press too many buttons when you get close, then don't don't try to force your mix up. You gotta get them really scared. And that's a common thing for Asuka in general. You wanna get them scared so you can get in their face, force mix ups, force strings, force all that good shit. Um, I was gonna test the tracking, right? So I'm just gonna go crouch, crouch. Oh, oops, I'm like that. I'm gonna go crouch, track, crouch, track. Ah, nope. I'm gonna go cross hack, cross cock, cross cancel forward for. I mess it up. Cross hack, cross hack. Ha! There he goes. My stomach is growling. I just ate hot balls, man. Ah, it's one of those that kind of realigns. Okay, it realigns if you go to your right. Right? I don't know if you could get it, get away from it at all if you go to right. That's, that looked like I was a range issue. Yeah, so you're gonna wanna go left, I think. Yeah, towards the move in this case. Ah, don't step. Walk it. So walk it to your left. From the mid range. Up close, it doesn't matter as much because it shouldn't be used that way. It's also a good, um, or at least it used to be, let me make sure, it used to hit grounded. Um, it still does, and it does the backflip, nice. So it's a good Oki tool, if high risk though, because remember, in a lot of Oki situations, standing to guard is an option, and then if they stand and guard this, you get fucked. But if they, there's another one, but if they wake up kick, this is gonna interrupt the wake up kick and you'll get a full launch. If they stay down, it's gonna fucking backflip them. Um, it seems consistent regardless of angle. Okay, good. It's not like this shit. It's not like this shit. That whiffs. <laughs> also, even like at the max range, it hits. That's why it's a good Oki tool in general. Well, not quite on her legs. You have to be close for the legs. Something about Asuka's legs. Maybe I don't know if that's universal, but maybe there's something about her legs that are make them really skinny with the hurt boxes. You think they changed the hitbox? <laughs> Can you wave dash those low cancels? Uh, I mean, <laughs> sure. <laughs> that's bootleg as hell, though. I mean, you know, it's not really a wave dash. Like, there's no... That cancel is not... It looks like a crash dash, but there's no moves out of it. There's no reason to. So if you're just doing this, you're like taunt. That's like you trying to taunt. That's what, that's what that shit is. You're just like, look at this. You're a dick. You're not doing anything, you know? That's pretty cheap, though. 
Um, also, I don't know how, how good that is at ducking. Let me test that. The cancel? <laughs> it crushes highs. I didn't even think about that for some reason. My stomach's still growling. Wow, not the 11 frame high. Hmm. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not really a high crush. It's just one of those moves that ducks. Because she's not getting under the, the magic four. But she, the 12 frame is losing. And the 10 frame jab is losing. So that tells me that it's maybe not really a high crush. Like it's not tech crouch. It's not showing up as tech crouch in, uh, in RB Norway. So, uh, But if she cancels into the crouch. It might be different. No it's still. It counter hits her. Wow. You could still... The counter, you could still counter hit. Uh, the, the counter, the cancel, you could still counter hit. Interesting, good to know. I didn't know that. Uh, but that looks too. And that's pretty fast. Uh, in certain Oki situations, forward two would hit when Asuka's dead and saw her has had a better hitbox, I guess. Rest in peace, Jun. Alright, well, forward two, really good move. And uh, sidewalk to your left. And that forward to cancel. Good way to get in people's faces to force a full crop mix up. You probably want to get used to how fast you could uh, actually input. Whether you want to mash it out or not. Next we got forward three, which is the same data as the strings. So there's one spin, negative two. Uh... Two spins plus six on block, and then you charge it into the unblockable, and then of course you could cancel it. <laughs> Lame. Uh, we already know it doesn't track unless you charge it, and then you have to sidestep the lane. <sighs> what is this music? Next, we got forward four. Is this a homing? It is. It is a tailspin move. So if you hit him out of the air, you get the tailspin. Um, this, it is plus on block? What? It's slow though. It says 19 frame stardom. I really need to change this song. I don't know whose ending this is, but. <laughs> that was very distracting, that music. <laughs> Alright. Back to the game. I just put the whole soundtrack into my playlist of Tekken 2, and I was like, whatever comes up, comes up. So yeah, plus 3 on block. Uh, it says plus 3 to plus 4. If you space it to the tip. Just the tip. Alright, well, maybe, maybe it's like a tech thing you can get. Whatever. Plus 3 reliable. Just assume plus three. Uh, it doesn't really push back, does it? No, it pushes you a little bit back, I guess. It pushes her a little bit to your right. Oh, uh, that combos, but it doesn't launch. That combo to be sized up right first. The question is, can you pick up? Why did that work?
You know what? It might not be a full juggle, but I'll take it off of a high homing move that's plus on block or normal hit. I'll take that damage. Down back four, three, four, two. I guess exactly what I did. All right, good to know. Yeah. Down back, no, no timing really needed. You just do it right away. And then forward to it. That's good. What's her uh, rage drive? Eh, it's probably not going to work in this situation, right? It's one of those that you want to use after tailspin and it forces them into the ground. <laughs> Is that guaranteed? Let's find out. First, let's do this. That might be guaranteed. I mean, the health bar isn't regening. I just wanted to do it for myself to be sure. Down back four, three, it's a forward three. Oh! Ah, <laughs> uh, I get it. I, I, I'm picking up what you're putting down here. Let's see. I'm picking up what you put it down. Hold on a second. So we're gonna tech left. Now it's not timed perfectly. It's not like a proper tech trap. All right, let's see. No, she'll stand first, right? No, oh, maybe let's see. Let's side walk. Pick a direction. Might not be able to step it. Oh boy. <laughs> there you go. That's definitely like that's some shit. Uh they what if they get up and mash? If they could walk, they're gonna be able to mash through it. Frame, so launches are gonna beat it if people mash when they tech, which a lot of people do. That's interesting, though. That's definitely some uh, semi gimmicky shit. You hear these fucking insane people out there? They fucking lit up a whole chain of that shit just now, dude. <laughs> World War Three out there right now. All right. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, of course. You can just cancel it. Yeah, that's just. Uh, you could also just do. Ooh, my favorite track. It pisses me off so much that this is not in Tekken tunes. The biggest, one of the biggest omissions in Tekken in the jukebox. Anyway, um, yeah, you can just cancel it or do the two spins, right, for the plus frames. Yeah, that's true. 
But like, it won't hit grounded, right? Yeah, that definitely doesn't hit grounded. Still, I think what I found before was pretty interesting, right? It seems like that it's guaranteed. It was this the one I recorded, right? Seems like that's guaranteed. That hits ground? I didn't even know. That just hits ground regularly. Oh, and when it hits ground, you get the guaranteed follow-up. Damn, that's a really good rage drive. Do any other rage drives do that? Just hit grounded like that? Those ones that slam me down like kings? I don't think kings hit grounded. Maybe it does. I don't know. Can she floor break with this without rage drive? Like, um, what does she floor break with? That definitely doesn't floor break. I tried this already and then it really. What the hell could she possibly floor break with? <laughs> That's a cool move. I like how I like that whiff animation. Uh that's a cool whiff animation. <laughs> it's horrible on whiff, sure, but. That's a cool looking with animation. Oh, that hits grounded! <laughs> you think that floor breaks? Oh, man. That ain't combo. What else could she floor break? This would floor break if she launched you, right? Yeah, that would floor break. Ah, so you keep looking through the moves, we'll get there. Uh, I gotta go take a whiz. I'll be right back in a minute. I've been holding it for a bit now. Just give me a sec here. Don't nobody go nowhere.
My poor dog is losing his mind out there. Freaking out. <sighs> poor little guy. I think he's been having some anxiety issues and he just kind of got over them and now we got 4th of July to freak him out at nighttime again. Turn this back on. Turn off the text. Alright. A swig of water over here. Three, four. One, two, three, four. Just tangled up like crazy, man. Alright, back to the action over here. So we're trying to find more shit off of this forward floor, because this is a pretty dang good move. Even if it is kind of slow. Wasn't there some shit where um, you get different juggle, like a full juggle, if you catch them sidestepping to your left? Maybe that was a Jun thing from before that um, I'm mistaken this with. Hmm. Alright. Explored that enough. That's clearly a good move though. So the regular combo is just down back 4-3, forward 2. Or like Shay said earlier, you could get like tricky with it and do the down back four three and charge forward three. You do a full charge, but if they're masher, you could do a partial charge and get the plus six on block or just counter hit them if they're mashing, right? Um, yeah. That seems well timed. Well timed for that. Does it catch both directions? Plus six on block version is really good against tech. They have to block it, otherwise they get hit. And then uh, I don't think it's anything for that on counter. Here, right? No, it just knocks back either way. But it does good damage. Uh, Twenty six, so thirty one damage on counter. Here. That's good damage. So that's a good option. See, monkey fun guy, what's up? Alright, Manny Biggs, what kind of hair <laughs> what kind of hair care product do you use? I only want to use the finest. I use um some coconut smelling thing that's for curly hair. I forget the uh the brand. I forget the brand, I'm sorry. It's some sort of cocoa smelling thing though. And then uh, I don't have any on right now though. My hair is super dry, that's why I got the fucking Frankenstein thing going on. But uh when I go out, my hair is fucking beautiful. Alright, so next we got, uh... That was 4 4. So 4 4 is a pretty dang good move. Now we got 4 plus 1 plus 2. This has always been a pretty good move. Uh, but now it's armor, so it's even better. I don't know if it was safe before, but apparently it's negative 11 now. Um, can you hold back on this? Oh shit, Paul Phoenix! Phoenix! 
Oh! Okay, you can roll back. If you don't roll back, what is guaranteed? Forward two, I guess, right? Ooh, yeah. Uh, what else is guaranteed? Down forward three, maybe? Yeah, what's more damage? Down forward three is more damage. And then I'm gonna guess if you don't roll back, you get fucked by this too, right? Wow, I can't even do it. Oh, man, that's hard to do. That recovery. There you go. If you don't roll back, that'll fuck you up too, right? Okay. Hmm. This would be good to keep him right in front of you. Alright. So, you guys are gonna wanna roll back on that. Is it actually unsafe? Uh, record. I keep forgetting what the record option is. Oh, there's one thing I incest was, um, what's 13 frames for? This is 13 frames. Okay, so that is, start, that is plus 3. Now that I tested that. Ooh, pushback. And she can't hold forward. Man, so Asuka can't do shit about this, but long range jabs, assuming that negative 11 is right, long range jabs or cactus that can hold forward to get their jabs will be able to punish this. Or you can just duck it and launch her, right? I was tracking on this one. So, no real realignment on it. Alright, by the way, that's an elbow, so it beats out counters. Regular regular counters. Elbows, knees, headbutts, chainsaws, some of the sword attacks. I don't think I'll do it. Uh, tails, <laughs> in the case of Roger, if you're still around. Ah, alright, well now it, it says negative 11. Which uh, I can't really test with Asuka. Ah, uh, fuck it. We might as well be sure now, right? I'm not gonna remember all this shit. Might as well be sure, right? Oh, I could have tested standing four now that I think about it. Whatever. Get ready for the next battle part came out through my speakers instead of my headphones. Ah, Tekken is a fucking weird game on PC. Weird ass glitches. Yeah. There you go. I made it unsafe. I mean, don't do this to Gigas. This is good. This is one of the best things about Gigas. <laughs> His 10 frame punish is like two back dashes, uh, two back dashes worth of distance on his 10 frame punish. Really good shit. This is a uh, Ganryu's theme, I think, in Tekken 2. This was also in part one, this thing. They should bring Ganryu back. He was unique enough that uh, he's worth. I mean, he just wasn't popular. That's, this is it. Do his forward two. That's way better. Forward two is too slow. <laughs> it's probably the best thing about Gigas. Yeah, I mean, Gigas got some uh, interesting gimmicks too. You know, and I think if you're bad at reacting to his charge moves, then that's a really strong uh, mix-up out of the run. I thought I was hearing things outside of my, coming out of my speakers. Oops, I, I hit the stupid Xbox button so this pop-up happened. Alright, Xbox. Let's test their standing four. It's supposed to be 11 frames, right? Yeah. 
There you go. Punish! Punish, punish, punish. Well, that's not a punish. And uh, she's getting hit, but it's not punishing, so. Ele negative 11. And they also done it with Bruce. Yep, yeah, they sure, they sure done it alright. Uh, <laughs> uh, just grab him. Uh, you know what? You just gave me an interesting idea. I gotta remember this. If there's ever an armor move that's negative 12 on block, I should test what happens if I grab them. I don't think you'll... Uh... By the way, grab throws are breakable. There's no such thing as a throw punishment unless you throw them out of the armor move. Uh, what I'm wondering though is if an armor move is negative 12, will they be able to break a generic throw? Worth knowing, right? I doubt it. It's not like it's virtual. Oh, air grab? What are you? But, but but she's not in the air. She's not in the air. What are you? What are you talking about? Oh, you're okay. You're referencing what you said earlier. Gigas is weird. He can do some crazy shit with his air grabs. This guy tries to low crush her hop kick. Oh yeah yeah no that's not that's not Gigas' school. That's been around forever now. Um, Huarang power crush is negative twelve. All right, I gotta remember that. Huarang is next, I think. By the way. Well, I'm the next guy, and that's gonna take me like a two, maybe even a three parter. I don't know. Um, so, Jinkinator, thanks for the heads up. I'll try to remember that when I do one on. So yeah, um, King could do that too. Uh, th uh, air throws in general are like that. You know what was funny? They nerfed air throws in this game. So in the case of Gigas, though, I guess uh, in the case of the example you talked about, if you were to air throw them right out of a move, it's it's not as bad because it'll have the full scaling. The thing now is uh, air throws late into the juggle actually get hit by the juggle scaling. That wasn't the case before. In Tag 2, they always did 100%. Which is why Marta did so much damage to Tag 2. <sighs> and King's wild, uh, his running power bomb. Alright, so... Yeah, that's forward 1 plus 2. There's no tracking on it. I got to her rear. And it's one of those knockdowns that you have to hold back. Otherwise, she gets a free follow-up. What about a counter hit? Yeah, same thing on counter hit. Yeah, Gigas doesn't use the air throw and they're in the struggle, nor does he use the wall throw like Marduk did. Marduk's wall throw was fucking crazy. It was the same animation, but it was way better. Alright, so anyway, next we got down forward one, 13 frames. So she has like a standard down forward one, 13 frame. Although, I find it interesting the way she swings it. I feel like this would hit stuff like Josie's up forward three. Because she's swinging it upward. Your typical down forward one, they swing it in the midsection. But, because of that, I suspect that low profile stuff will uh, beat it out. This is probably not a great example. I don't know what would be a low profile thing for Asuka. Back three. Alright, well, I don't know if Asuka has super low profile stuff. Uh, tracks to her weak side. I'm gonna guess that's her left. That's how dot forward ones usually work. Looks like I'm wrong. So, alright then. No, oh, so it's one of those. Distance. Up close. Up close, right? Yeah. Up close. Up. Oh. Eh. I'm putting myself at negative two here for this. So, yeah, probably, right? Uh. Okay, thought so. Okay, it is Sarah left. Just up close, right? Well, I'd be taking Asuka to some online matches after completely exploring her kit. Uh, this character is too complicated for that, for me. I could do that with an easy character like Shaheen, but with Asuka, I don't think I can. I'm not confident. I, I would need to put more time into her. 
this is really I'm not, I'm also I don't like Oscar. I'm doing this with every character, which is uh, I've done with several characters by the way down in the YouTube. I should make that link clickable. I don't think it's clickable. Sorry about that. But I got my YouTube link down in my bio, whatever that is down there, right? And I did like Master Raven. I did uh, all the new characters except except Akuma. I did Eliza. Uh, and yeah, and Oscar. Oh yeah, and Elisa is my last one. So yeah, that, that's what I've done so far. So even characters like I just want to like have this as like a little semi Bible maybe. I won't I won't have everything, you know. I only know so much, but. Suddenly, that's like a reference point that I could go back to, or anybody else could just go back to. And it's like, hey, how do you deal with this move? How do you maybe use this move? That's what these, these videos I do are about, these streams and shit. So I eventually will go through the whole cast. Unless I get lazy. <laughs> I plan on going through the whole cast. So, yeah, this looks good up close to her, her left. But from a distance, not so much. Put some distance because this low pushes back a little bit. That's what's happening. So if you put some distance, this doesn't have as great tracking. But up close, this seems reliable. If I could put her plus one. Uh, uh unfortunately, Sylvanas, no. It's just I, I upload these, uh, these, um, these archives. I just pull out my Twitch archives. Eventually, I will be doing, for the characters I know the most, I will be doing some edited shorter guides. And I actually just, uh, uh, watching Juicebox's stream yesterday, I saw some interesting ways to punish Leo's back plus one four, which is like a big noob killer. And even like at a mid-level, even at higher levels, it's kind of annoying, but at higher levels, people are better at dealing with it, right? But at mid-levels, that shit is annoying too. It's like a free mix-up for Leo if you don't know how to deal with that. So I, I learned some interesting stuff yesterday about that stream. And I plan on maybe in like a day or two uploading a properly edited together. Here's how you beat this one move kind of thing. And uh, I'll be doing some more of those because I want to get my editing down. I haven't done editing in a long time. I, <laughs> unfortunately, I, I did Katarina first before the game was officially out. And that was on Hitbox. That was on a, a Hitbox TV or a Smash GG. So I'm gonna, I might have to do her again in short form, or do like a properly edited together Katarina thing. I should do her again, you're right. It'll be much quicker, because I kind of remember a lot of that stuff. To the point where I actually played Katarina quite a bit already. Uh, oh yeah, so down forward one, up close tracks to her left. So yeah, 13 frame mid. Only negative three on block, it says. Yeah, negative three on block. The only time I'm gonna like test if it's different is if I see it, because it seems like this bot is not using RB Norway Norway's, Norway's data. So if I see like a discrepancy like for this, where it says 13 frames, I'll test that. But it seems pretty consistent otherwise. So I'm trying to believe that negative three is right. I mean, that wouldn't be hard to test either. Y'all see? Exchanged. So negative three is right. On hit, a lot. Plus eight. Yeah, plus eight on hit. So now, this has strings. I don't know. I think it's a counter hit string. Down forward one, two. Alright, good to know that the second hit is a hit throw on regular hit. So that's up forward two, same thing. Block down forward one two is that's only negative one, so it's risky because they could duck it. But this is definitely something I've seen Oscar players do since day one. I think she had this in 5.0. Uh, that's a solid move. And then down forward one four as your mid option if they duck this, you throw this in there, and then I'll counter hit. Also, I think that mid starts struggles, doesn't it? It do. Yep, 
Oh yeah, that this is good. This is good shit. And then usually when you, uh, you know, a common theme in second, you'll have a strong safe on block high option that uh, you could use for fish uh, as fishing for this. And you can fish for it like that. Or if this counter hits, it'll combo, right? And then when they start to duck it, you'll have a dangerous mid option that will also counter hit them if they're mashing after this. They both work if... They both make this stronger as options because if you do these back to back and people start mashing, that's when you throw them out, right? And then they both give good reward. But then it doubles up where if they duck this and try to instant while standing, that's also still going to counter hit them. And then on a regular hit, it just knocks back. And it's only negative 12 on block, which makes it even better in my opinion. Usually this kind of stuff will be unsafe, but it, I feel like it'll be negative 13 or 14 usually. Negative 12 is really good. Does it push back? Who knows? So, is there any other ways to beat this? Can I sidestep it? No. Can you delay that? You can delay the two. The not forward one, two. I still combo if you delay it. It does okay. You can kind it feels like you can kinda of delay the four also. So you can delay them both. Still combo if you delay the four. Yeah, it doesn't combo either. But you could delay both options. It, seems like, it feels like you could delay the two a little more. It might just be in my head, though. No, okay, you could delay them both equally. That's good. What's up, Echo? Uh... Alright. So you could delay them both. That made it scary, and it seems like you can't sidestep it. How about if she delays it? Let's try it. Yeah, if she delays it, you can. If she doesn't delay it, you cannot. Okay, both directions. Same thing there. Oh, not so much there. Okay. Oh, wow, but if he sidestep it off of the delay... It hits you off axis so she doesn't get the uh, hit throw. Which means, uh, in that situation, uh, what, what would it be on hit? Negative. I don't know if this frame data. Yeah, I don't think it has frame data for that. It's not registering on the bot. On the bot. All right. I don't know if I can... Is that worth testing? That might be worth testing. Nah, it's, it's only off a delay situation. I won't worry about that. That's that's too, like... Diving too deep. Um, so yeah, that's good shit. It's a good move. Very good move. And then the down 4 to 1, as Shay said, uh, tracks to her weak side. So I guess that means her left is her weak side. Um, but that is up close. From, like, back here, not even though it'll hit, it, it won't track as well. Alright, so next we got Don Forward 2. So as you saw, oh, Sony negative. It's negative 6? I feel like these are usually negative 8 or 9. Negative, well, I mean, you're still not going to size about negative 6. Yeah, you can't sidestep jabs, obviously. What about mids? sidestep 15 frames though but like quick mids you're not gonna get a sidestep 14 frames yeah, yeah. so you're not sidestepping uh, um, uh, semi quick like average 15 frame mids linear mids 
I'm sorry, 14 frames. <laughs> Linear units. Uh, you can still size step like 15 frames. At least with Asuka, this could be this is like a character dependent thing. Uh, but you're not side stepping jabs or quick mids at negative six. So keep that in mind. But still, a safe long block, mid launcher, that they have to be standing though, like I said earlier. One more time I'll show it, just in case you forgot. They have to be standing unless you counter it. So it's a common thing with safe mid launchers. Uh, safe mid down forward two launchers. This song's tight. Uh, no real tracking one either. Decent range though. Also, it kind of uh, ducks. I wouldn't call this a crush, but it does duck. Like, I don't know if I can make it happen. I'll try though. It's one of those that if you time it right, it could go under uh, jabs. Ah. Maybe not so much. Maybe off of a 1 3. What am I doing? No. Ah. Eh. I'm pretty sure it does. I guess I'm not 100 I mean, it looks like it does, right? I also feel like if you were to sidestep before doing it because of her little duck animation, it might add some invasiveness to it, but I guess this is not like a reliable thing. Uh, I feel like if this were Giga, she'd be able to do it. Like, this was a problem with Marduk. Like, in a lot of down forward ones, like, her down forward one also looks like it crushes, right? Like, it ducks. But, um... Because she's short, it's not gonna really work. <sighs> do I wanna switch to Gigas to show this to prove I'm not crazy? I kinda do. This was a problem with Marduk. Like, for example, Lee's down forward one did that shit. He would do like a ducking mid. Uh, well, not. Like, it would look similar. Like a quick duck into a stupid down forward one mid. Lee, uh, when Lee did back to back down forward ones, Marduk would. His jab would whiff. It was so fucked up. So, it's like a tall character thing, so I'm gonna assume that it, uh, it, might, it, it should uh, be the same for Gigas, but Gigas has a big arm, so maybe it won't be the case. I don't know. Might as well find out, right? And the reason why this is cool to know is, um, it really fucks them over on their jazz. If you can do like a back-to-back -back down forward one on block, and they can't jab you, that's, that's pretty fucked up. Let's just try it. Uh, down for one, down for one. Yeah, maybe not so much for Gigas. He's got those big, beefy arms. Let's try it off of a one jab. I mean, it's the same frame data for her, right? One jab. Not so much now. <laughs> All right, so maybe that might not be the case anymore, or just the window is so tight that I can't really find it. Lee's down forward one went under my Steve's core circle forward one in slow mo, so that was cool. <laughs> Yeah, no, that shit is fucked. Shaheen's does that shit sometimes, too. It, it happened to me. Not in slow motion, but uh, using Shaheen, I've gone under Jazz before. It's like it's like a one or two frame window. It's not something that you could bank on. But what I'm, what I meant, what I, what I'm saying is before, against Marduk, you could totally bank on it. Like, even Dragonov. Uh, his down forward one is negative two on block. Dragonov down forward one to down forward one would go under Marduk's jabs, assuming he pressed it instantly. If Marduk pressed pre press his jab with any delay at all, 
it would hit you out of the, the following down from one. Oh uh, yeah, Stadium was from Tekken 1, but they used it again in Tekken 2. Oh shit, the console version of King's Name. Classic. I like the arcade one better though. So yeah, Down 4 is really good. It's one of those um, that I feel like if you sidestep right and do it, it's, it might add some evasion to this. It might just be in my head, I don't know, but... It's like Josie's, except Josie's is way more reliable. It's like, I think Josie's is an actual high crush, which is why it's unsafe on block, but... I think hers launches crouches too. Uh, Alright. Down forward three is next. Alright, so this is the the move that was kinda like OK. But not really. I mean it, I guess it is pretty good OK, but um because it hits grounded at certain angles. But in the case of this move, it's actually safe on block corn does. Plus eleven on hit. Not special on counter hit. I'm sure it's wall splats. Um, no broken follow-ups, right? No. Yeah, so this is just, this is just a mid I, that I would use for for Oki, because at certain angles, or maybe depending on the character, maybe an average size character will get hit at any angle on the floor. Uh, it'll hit him. It looks like it has a good hitbox. If I were to guess, this might work on AOV. Just guessing. I'm not sure. Um, See how it tracks. Yeah, so the tracking isn't great. The tracking is awful. I gotta remember that. That's a punish for Ling right there. That's a big punish for the bad Ling's at least. Uh, abuse uh, Rue Kick. All right. Um, you know what? Maybe it's not. They could probably duck the. Uh, uh, let's test that. Guaranteed. So I just thought of that now. All right, if that's guaranteed in the back, uh, Ling Shao Yu. Wait, actually, yeah, no, that's guaranteed. You can't even throw the turn around. All right, Ling Shao Yu has a move called like people call the roll when well, she's back turn. She has the roll, the California roll that people call it, and then the root kick, which is just like a handstand, like upward double kick. That's negative 10 on block, but it forces her back turn, which means you get jabs on her back for free where she's unable to turn around, which means you could punish that with a launcher for Oscar with 1-1-4. One, one, if you do anything slower than that, she could actually like parry you. Uh, punch parry, or uh, she, has, she now has a mid counter. So... You gotta be careful what you do after that. But because it's negative 10, she stays back turn when you jab her. Unlike other things that are back turn that you could punish with jabs, maybe, but uh, it's not negative 10, so they'll turn around and they'll get hit in their face. So she could actually launch that. That's interesting. And any other back turn negative 10 stuff. And any back turn negative 12 stuff, she'll get this up. Well, not that. Any back turn negative 12 stuff, she'll get... Not that. <laughs> uh, why is she doing that? That's so much... That has such a big buffer. Fuck. Yeah, she'll get that on the back, too. Hmm. I'm also test that, too. Because there is some negative 12 back turn stuff. Yeah, 
Can you duck that? Uh, you might be able to. No, you cannot. Ooh, wow. Nasty back turn punishers. Interesting. Good to know. Alright. Uh, so we're talking about down forward three, right? We tested it. Doesn't have any tracking. It's negative eight. Have an 18 frame move. What was high at 18 frames? Something that hit high was 18 frames. Uh, that's 17. Was 18 frames. That did something that was 18 frames. <laughs> That's 18 frames. All right. There you go. All right, so yeah, negative eight is correct. I just feel like testing. I want to be sure because ground and hitting mids in this game, a lot of them seem to be unsafe. So I just wanted to be sure. Uh, that's down four three. Next, well, next we got down four four. This is a twelve frame mid. So these are pretty rare. Although I feel like more characters now have them than before. Maybe she always had it. I didn't know. But 12 frame mid pull from standing like this is uh, relatively rare. Maybe like only a third of the cast or even only a quarter of the cast has this. Um, and it uh, seems like they all have like similar range. They all kind of stick out their foot in similar ways. They seem to always be a down forward four as an input. <laughs> I think Yoshimitsu has one too. Um, so yeah, good range. And these are always the same story with these. They're like not very plus on hit. And uh, on block, they're like negative five, six, seven. And they're linear. That's like a common theme with these. In the case here, she's negative nine on block, it says. Um, yeah, she's negative nine. Uh, it doesn't push back much, but it pushes back enough that if you get them to block the tip, you could bait whiffs. Like negative nine from back here doesn't matter because look, everything's gonna fucking whiff. So, if you can space it out, it's alright, but then it's a big whiff if you space it out. Well, not a big whiff, but it's big enough to get launched. So, you want to be careful with that, too. Uh, let's just test the tracking. These are good round ender pokes up close. No tracking at all. It does realign though, so you have to time it, it looks like. Yeah, so it's one of those that you have to time. That's cool. It's not one of those that if they happen to be walking and you throw it out, it's gonna just whiff and go in a random direction. Alright, next we got down two. Okay, this is a classic. So on counter hit, it just knocks down, and if she gets a juggle, not that. There you go. She has to pick up a one plus four, I guess. Oh, she can pick up a down forward one. Uh, one. All right, so she can pick up a down forward one for probably better damage than one plus four. And then on block, this is negative four force crouch. Oof, bad whiff. It moves her forward so you get her rear. <laughs> mm. 
Remember what I just said? If you're ready for this kind of punish, you can really fuck people up for throwing out shit like that. You have to be up close, though. Oh shit, Tekken 2 credits music. They remixed this into Tag 2. She can do the low out of that, can't she? There it is. Down four. Okay, and that's still combos. And she can still cancel it. Just like she can do with the low regularly. Okay, so that's forward one four, uh, forward one down four, sorry. And then uh, also one one down four. And if she can delay that shit too. Plus nine force crouch on hit. This is really good on hit. There's no tracking on it, but if you get this to hit, you get like a solid mix up here because number one, you don't have to worry about instant rage. Well, plus nine is too many frames because uh, Super's rage uh, arts, rage arts, yeah. rage arts have some startup. At, so at plus nine, you won't have to worry about them for fast moves anyway. But even then, because it forces crouch, if they wanted to try to rage art through it, they'd have to crouch cancel. It also removes instant counters. Right, so like, um. <sighs> so I could, pro I might be able to crouch, if I, if I, I feel like if I get a good crouch cancel, I could do it in this situation. See, I can't do it instant rage art, so if I wanted to rage art through something. After that, I got it in time. Boke. Alright. 17. Uh, 16 again. easy it is to go into her cross toe out of that cancel? Oh, you mean the low? You gotta hold down. Uh, all of her cancels to, to crouch, you gotta hold down, down back, or down forward. Uh, except for the sweep, actually. For the sweep, you gotta hold down back. So, for that, this is three till the four for the sweep. You hold down back. And then that sweep is the same sweep that comes out of this. One, one, down four, right? That's a sweep. Or forward one, down four. So forward one, down four, down back. And then one, one, um, one, one, down four, down back. That's about as fast as you could do it. And then forward two down, you can do the same thing. Uh, there's another one she could cancel. Uh, doesn't she have like a weird elbow? Spinning elbow? Uh, whatever. Uh, you get the idea. She has uh, something else she could cancel, I just don't remember it at the moment. Yeah, that, that one. Why did that get canceled? What the fuck? So yeah, while standing up, it's the same thing. You, uh, in this in this case, though, you could hit uh, uh, down forward and, and neutral, uh, down directly down. Works. The sweep is the only one you have to do down back. Oh, 
Oh, she can't get that anymore? Oh, there it is. Well, the hockey course, I guess. Whatever. Uh, oh, yeah, so I wanted to test this. So the 17 frame fuse, she's able to fit it. Wow. But the 16 frame, you cannot rage art through. The start, the animation is starting up, so she's getting counter hit there. But once again. 17 frames. <laughs> the one frame difference. I just wanted to show that slippers have some startup. They, they seem to have the, the same startup. Uh, maybe some slippers uh, come out faster. So this is a good move. Counter hit jungle starter, linear, but negative four on block, but it forces crouch. So it's pretty good shit. So depending on how opponent's wall standing tracking is, uh, if you know how opponent's wall standing tracking is, you could utilize sidestep maybe, even at negative four, maybe. Uh, so next we got down plus one plus two. Which she could do from full crouch also. Full crouch down plus one plus two. Boosh. It has to be directly down. You can't do down forward. Uh, this is a pretty good low if I recall. Crouch guard. It is bad on clock. Really bad. Holy shit. Uh, one, uh, Jim's radar is 13 frames. But I think like... I don't think that applies to what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the startup for the rage art before it becomes invincible. I'm not talking about the impact. I'm talking about the startup for the freeze frame. Why is that, why does that keep getting canceled out like that? What the fuck is wrong with my playlist? Uh, whoever pulled this soundtrack fucked up, I guess. Alright, so, uh, this is actually really bad on block, I didn't know this. Uh, it is a high crush though, and it does knock down on normal hit. And the range is pretty shitty. But, I'm pretty sure this is grounded. I don't know if this breaks the floor, but it's grounded. Reliably. Fire Pro Wrestling block pop up. Oh, you don't see that in my screen. <laughs> Fire Pro Wrestling's coming out soon, isn't it? Um, how's the tracking on this? First, let's check the crush. Okay. Um, it says tech crouch doesn't you recover crouching. Right? Oh, you don't. So why does it say tech crouch? Liars. Whatever. It still seems to really crush. Um, track. Yeah, I would say this is a Oki tool. It's the option. It's the option for a knockdown low for Oki that also hits grounded. That will cover you if they stay grounded. 
That's what I would use this for. The range is too shitty. Yeah, the range is too shitty, man. Uh, uh. And then even then, on block, it's really bad. Wow, that's too slow. What is that? 19 frames. So her wall standing punish is just shitty. That's why I can't really... I think I can, if you have like perfect execution, you might be able to do this. Give me a hitbox. I'll be able to do it on that. reason to get all crazy doing that her her pun her block punish is shitty anyway but yeah that is launch punishable by most of the casts damn man she needs 19 frames she needs 19 frames that's crazy all right 19 19 frames. I didn't know that she was that bad at. I mean, this is still a solid, uh. Sorry. This is still a solid while standing punisher, but still. Is that guaranteed? Yeah, you have to hold back. That will beat out Waco Kicks. Oh, that's a big whiff. Alright, yeah, so no, the Oki isn't even that great. You know where I bet the Oki would be good on that? Near the wall, where it won't push back. So, at the wall, I think this would be probably be pretty freaking good, too. Probably, probably. Let's switch to a wall stage. I don't think she'll get anything free, but it'll be good. Get ready for the next battle. Yeah, that's what um, uh, Jinkinator uh, says. I think all range arts have armor in the 8 frame. That's what I remember, I think, Jibble telling me when he discovered it in the chat. Popped up to my chat before I said it. I trust him. He's a lab monster. Um, wall. Yes, wall. Yeah, you see, look at that. Right in her face. Whoa. Frame rate drops to 50 there. That will give me a headache. Man, my graphic settings are still are really shitty and this is still happening. I hate this song. Okay, this is the Jimbachi thing. Okay, I was wondering. Oh, my chat is blocked. <laughs> that move drops your frames. Nah, I got a lot of shit running. That's why. My game runs fine when I don't run the bot and a lot of other shit aside. So, as, as, as before, my problem was before they added that uh, transparency shit, my frame rate would drop to below 30. And I would, like, get physically ill 
trying to <laughs> do training mode shit with that on. So, uh, when they add transparency, I get a little bit more consistent frames, but it still drops. I got a lot of shit running on my second monitor over here, according to chat. Uh, so I was gonna test what's free, right? So I gotta record on myself. Yeah, so the reason this is really good at the wall, not only because it keeps her close, but you don't have to worry about backdash. So this might be guaranteed. I have to make her walk forward. Ugh. I think that's guaranteed at the wall. I can't even start to roll. Yeah, so it's like uh, it's like Katarina's um, down back three. Except Katarina's down back three has more range. So Katarina's down back three in this situation at the wall gives her a free up back four, which causes that backflip. Speaking of that backflip. I mean, if that works... That should work too, right? Speed wise. Yeah. Because that's 20 frames and that's 17 frames. Guaranteed, but you lose Oki. What the fuck is this song? Stages cause oh it doesn't hit her crowd. The stages do cause some sort of weird shit to happen usually. Okay, that doesn't reflow. Damn, they said grounded, I think. They took that away from me. None of that, like, uh, in uh, older games, like, especially in Tag 2, when you had people on the floor like that, there were things that were, like, when you hit him off the floor, it would push him instantly against the wall into a wall slump. That's why Devil Jin had that Crouch Dash 4-3 setup at the wall for instant bound. Um, even though that wasn't, like, a normal hit juggle starter. Um, doesn't seem like you could get that with this. There's one more thing I want to test, though. I was getting up.
Ugh. I wanna get this perfect. This is like the kind of good shit when you have a grounded hitting, um... Rage drive. It might be good for shit like this. I did it again? Oh my god. <laughs> Walk forward. That hit me. I think that's guaranteed, guys. Oh. Yeah, it seems like no matter what I do, that's hitting me. See, I'm in the middle of standing up, but it's hitting me just inside to slam me right back into the floor. Even though it's not like comboing into health, I think this is guaranteed. So you got a nice little setup there with Rage if you happen to be near the wall. soundtrack is blending into itself like that. Seems like not guaranteed here, but oh, up close. Alright, well, let me see if the AI can do it at the wall. Nope, okay. So it is guaranteed at the wall. Not mid-stage, although it is still a solid option mid-stage, because at best they could block it by holding back, at best. I mean, it's one way that you could waste your raid drive, I guess, and you shouldn't really be using this mid-stage, but still. You, know, you should know all your options, right? Okay, so that's this move. She also has that out of a string. I don't know the input, though. Next we got King Kings. I mean, what is there to say about this fucking move? It's annoying. I already explained this earlier, but it crushes very fast. It's a 14 frame counter hit juggle starter that hits low. It also happens to low crush. So people that like to mash uh, crouch jab at negative frames, they should have blow them up. They mash crouch jab at like negative five, you're gonna get a launch. And if they do a, like a low, a fast low, well, not that it's a faster low than crouch jab, but you know, it'll crush anyway. So, it won't launch, but it'll crush.
Wow. So the thing about this is it's a big whiff. So you, if you can make it whiff, it's easy to like whiff punch. You can even get to her back easily. So it's a big whiff. Also, because it's a low, of course, you can low parry it. And then if you duck it, you get a while standing launching. So it's very unsafe. It's just something that people like to throw out because it's so fucking fast. And another thing, it breaks your auto guard, right? Yeah, see? This is one of those fucking moves. It's so fast. This is one of those where... A lot of people get launched when they swear they ain't get counter hit, and this is why. It's 14 frames. If you haven't get hit by the low and you're not holding back, you're gonna get launched. You have to like hold back the instant the low hits you. Otherwise you get launched. And it happens all the fucking time, or you know. Like if she hits you, you're in the middle of moving around and shit, and then like you're not ready to, you're not ready to block that, you're not gonna block. You have to like hold back. Be mindful of that fucking move. Because there's no delay between the two hits, and it's a 14 frame move, so it's like pop pop. You have to hold back right after that first pop hits you. Bop, hold back. What makes Asuka's 10 frame punisher uh, one of the worst in the game? Is it because of the follow ups? It's because she doesn't have a 10 frame punisher other than this. That's the only guarantee at 10 frames. So, because of that, she has to go listen to a mix up. The thing about that is she could go into these mix-ups even on block. She doesn't need hit. Uh, but this is plus not this is uh, plus nine on hit. So that's one thing to consider. She has a great 12 frame punisher, but you cannot press forward during it. So you're you're limited to whatever the range is. See the range is good. That's a great 12 frame punisher. And then this is her 14 frame up. Oh. This is her 14 frame punisher, but it is a high. So if it's four, negative 14 and they recover ducking, you cannot use this. I don't know what she would use otherwise. This? This would be it otherwise. This would be her 14 frame punisher as a mid. 3-1. And once again, 3-1 is super hit confirmable. You could like easily confirm the hit and then press the 1. And no matter how much you delay it, if you delay even the max amount possible, it'll still combo. So this is a good move to use in a neutral situation too. Especially towards the end of a round. Because that uh, one has some counter hit properties. Oh yeah, that just reminds me. That's probably guaranteed, right? It might, it might not be. They could tech this. Yeah, it's just a jab. Yeah, that's not guaranteed. So I mentioned that she might get something for free with this at the wall. So now that I remember that, I should test that. Well, first of all, I'm sure that's guaranteed. No, it's not. So she gets that whole thing. My frame rates. That rage is making my frame rate go nuts. Yep, it's just a jab. Alright. So she gets the 1 plus 4 series at the wall. Good to know. Uh, yeah, so down people's four is very annoying. But now you know how to beat it. Low parry, duck. Because she's forced to do the high no matter what. It's always those two hits. Uh, duck, launch, make it whiff, launch, sidewalk to your left. Sidestep probably works too, right? Uh, 
Uh, now I'm back one. Oh, this is great. This is what I was looking for before. So, oh, it doesn't knock down. But in this case, the low is only negative 13 instead of negative 18. The low period, though. This looks like a high crush. Yeah, it sure is. Negative two shields crushing him, but not a negative, uh, whatever this is. F uh, six. Seven. She gets the same knockdown that this gives. She can't really delay that low, so she has to commit to the string. This is negative nine. Yeah, so this, this is kind of whatever. I don't know about this. Maybe at the wall, it gives good shit. Probably for floor break. I think that's exactly what that's for. I don't know if she could do it off of a regular con. the wall, that's definitely for floor break. There's no other extensions off of that, so let's see, I'm down back to Why is it said mid with a quest mark? It's just a slow-ass launcher. There's nothing really to it. It's negative 13, apparently. Yeah, negative 13. How does it track? Whew. This was like her, uh, her invincible move in Second Revolution, right? It crushes, huh? Looks like a good crush. She kind of leans back, too. Set that up off of some pushback. Like her magic four. It's not bad. Alright. <laughs> don't, don't get too crazy with it. But yeah, like regular regular 
not long range mids. She's pretty evasive. And it is only negative 13. I'll bet you this is one of the ways she could uh, blow up Leo's back one four. I talked about this earlier. Let me see if I can put it into action now. This is a cool song and all, but the stupid chant thing kind of... This string for Leo, right? I'm gonna show you an example of what I'm assuming is gonna be an example of uh, what I uh, learned from watching Juice Box yesterday. So, this is an annoying move for this right here. That goes to that stupid stance, right? Because then she has um, that, and that's a counter hit safe on block. Uh, Counter hit jungle starter, safe on block, and you cannot sidestep it. Even if you even if you block these first two hits. And then when she keeps you still, you got the low. And then uh, you got that mid launcher. She can only choose to do the one kick or the double kick. So you don't want to have to deal with that fucking mix-up, and it's so good that even like new players pour it out, and then new players and mid-level players have a lot of trouble dealing with it. And then there's even more utility to it. It's a counter hit juggle starter, the first hit. So the thing about it is a couple things to know here. First of all, that first hit is negative 12 on block if she stops there. If she continues with the knee, you can't punish it, right? Wow. Audio just fucked up there. Um. And then if the knee hits you, she uh, the the, the mix-up is forced upon you even more so because you can't you you really uh, limit your options. So the real thing about this is most of the cast could sidestep that that knee and like punish her, right? There's one more thing I'm wondering though that if she could do it. No, she can't. Let me even shallow block. Okay. So it doesn't lean back enough. Moves that lean back really fuck this shit up. And I'm not even just talking about backspin blows. Moves that lean back slightly. Like uh, Jin CDS. I'm gonna make a video about what every character can do about this move. But uh, there's another one that I heard that works too. I'm just gonna jump to Katarina for a second here. Oh shit. My screen was playing here. My screen was playing on the side the whole time. I hope it wasn't lagging my screen. Does Josie Sway work? I don't know. I'll test that too real quick here as a quick sidebar. Resurrection. Man, I've heard this opening so many fucking times when I used to go to the arcade. Uh, in case you're wondering, no, she cannot delay that knee. That's about as fast as it always comes out. So, Katarina gets a sidestep. She gets back to a use for that move. I don't know what the best combo is for that, but I guess now I should find out, right? So there's nothing that Leo could do about it, like uh, if she commits to the knee, she can't block it. Right, I try to do that shit. Boom! Right. <laughs> 
Try to do that shit. Ooh, I, I gotta get her on the knee. Whoop, boom, right? She tries to not do the knee, but do two of these in a row instead. <laughs> it's gonna counter here. She has to do the, the, uh, the back one by itself and stop. That's all she could do. Jin's is really fucked up because CDS 1 plus 2 is a very high damage launcher. And that's what he gets. Alright, so I'm gonna test this one for Doom Shine and then I'll jump back to Asuka. slow she outright beats you out so maybe you're gonna just want to do Didn't I already go through these songs? Negative 13. 
I don't have the full Tag 1 soundtrack, it's only the Ogre theme. But, uh, I have one on theme, I forget where I put it. Alright, so negative 13 on block, it's a big whiff, linear move. Uh, it's got a pretty shitty range. It has some invasive properties to it, but, and eh, I wouldn't use that. Too much, at least. How much damage is it? 22 damage. Next we got down back three. This is a solid low poke. Straight up. It's a little slow. It's a little on the slow side. But plus four on hit is nice. Plus four on hit sets up a decent job of setting up the 15 frame Connor hit me. They do something remotely slow. That's not jabs. Uh, it also pushes back a bit. Good spacing. So you can backdash. And, you know. But you want to be careful because they could backdash your knee. Not bad. Yep. Yeah, so, because of that spacing, they could backdash too, even though they're at negative four. So keep that in mind. But if they come in with buttons, that, that knee, they stick that knee out and they'll be waiting for them. better than I thought. It forces Crouch on hit. Yeah, plus four force Crouch on hit, so you'll exchange with an 11th frame while standing move. But you'll still get the combo. Yep, this is tag one in here. Still got the combo, so that's pretty good. Man, he's back again, fun. Um, solid look. A little on the slow side, though. that's the only problem with it. And it doesn't, uh, there's no, um, there's no crush, and it doesn't track very well to her left, it looks like, but it tracks quite well to her right. Or, tracks pretty good to her right. Tracks step well. Walk, not so much. Okay. Good luck. Yeah, second two specifically was my childhood. I played Tekken 1, but I was way too young. Or rather, my brother was on the console a lot more than I was. Then when I got my own PS1 eventually, I, I bought Tekken 2. I played a shit load of Tekken 2. Uh, yeah, the low is good. Yeah, the range, you're right. The range, that's solid range. That's better range than most low pokes. That's like really good range, actually. Look at that shit. But it's pretty li li linear, I think. Like, it tracks uh, to one side okay -ish, but that means from back here, it's, um, it's good enough that you can do two in a row, and she won't be able to backdash it, I think, if you're up close on the first one. Yeah, look at that. But if you're far away, you know, now they're like, what if I have her side walk left? Oh, it forces Crouch, so that's not gonna happen. Okay, you see? It tracks to her right, so let's switch sides. You know what, this is pretty good no matter the range. It tracks quite well. Because such a, it's really, really good hitbox on this. That's what that means. So it covers her right side quite nicely. That's a great move. I got his back ready. I'll be right back.
right, relax, relax. I'm back. I do feel like I gotta change up my music. Let's see what I got here. I know this song's sick, though. You gotta tell me. I know. Back to the action. Is Iris streaming yet? So we were just talking about um, the low, right? So, really good low. A solid way to set up back four against Mashers. But, uh, and it forces Crouch. But because it pushes back, be careful. You, uh, back dash will could fuck you up pretty bad. But the low into the low does reach. As long as you're up close. If you're long range though. Wow, oh, I switched sides, that's fine. I'm oh, blocking my own chat. Whoops. Sorry about that. Yeah. As long as you're like relatively close, you can count on the low reaching. So that's pretty good. It says it's um, negative 12 on block, right? So what's 12 frames that you have? 13, 19. She doesn't have a 12 frame while standing, does she? No, she doesn't. So I can't really test. I can test it that it's not 13. That's about it, though. There you go. Yeah, she blocked the 13. Alright. Next is back plus one. Ah, uh, this is an uh, old school one. This has uh, been around forever. I, I think I think Jun had this in the old games. It's a counter hit, hit throw. Crunch on the knee. Um, I think it forces crouch. No, it doesn't. But on hit, it's plus Yikes. And you recover crouching, so it sets that up. It's also, she leans back. So from like the, the round start range, this is why people use it from round start range. It reaches, she leans back, so a lot of shit is gonna whiff, and she high crushes. So this is like a, a popular round starter for a low.
Okay, good. One back dash. Ooh, yikes. Low profile much? <laughs> she has one of those. How's the tracking on this? So, she doesn't turn during the startup, and there's a lot of startup on this slow. So, it loses really bad if you like start your sidewalk early, since there's no realignment on it. But she does recover crouching, so you can't get the rear and do the crazy shit. Like, you can maybe do that, but she blocked it. There you go. If you, get, if you get to the side at a good angle, you get forward 1-4 if you ask her. Uh, basically, you're going to want a mid starter. You're, you're going to want to hit her with a mid. Not that she's recovering crouching, so it won't launch her. You need to hit her with a mid. And that's how you punish that shit. Losing all my viewers, I'm assuming Aris is on or I took too long. <laughs> I did remove the uh, be right back, right? Off the screen, I can't even see. So this is a freaking good move. Really good move. Uh, what is it on block? Uh, only negative 10. Really? Negative 10? It might as well be safe on block then. I did this already, but... You backdash away from it. I got to test the low crush, uh, low crush ability of uh, back three. <laughs> yeah, I block after it. Alright. Wow, it pushes. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, this is a. Fucked up low, holy shit. Yeah, that's fucking nuts. This is a really fucking good move, dude. Damn. You just open yourself up to any counter, it's that's it. Because it's slow. Very slow. Twenty-nine frame startup, and it is seeable. So you're gonna want a low pair. It is if you see this low. <laughs> this will probably be a great setup off of the magic four on block. once. Alright, maybe not so much off of the Magic 4 unless you they block just a tip. But anything with any sort of pushback, this might be a really solid follow-up. There's Wadong's team. Yeah, really good move this move. Plus 6. That's fucked up. What does she have as counter hit? Sets that up. Wow, it exchanged with a crouch jab. So it sets that low up, and basically it'll get people to duck. 
The full cross not forward one or not forward two. Sorry, the full cross not forward two. The swipe sets that shit up. Good. What up, Vince? Kuma has a low crush with a 29 frame start, plus 7 on block when finished at his natural combo. There's some crazy moves there. Yeah, there's some crazy moves out there. Yeah, Asuka's got a lot going on. She's a little weird to punish by now. She has to take some risks, that's the clear thing. She has to do like slow moves. So the whole thing about Asuka, the game plan, from what I'm getting, from what I'm seeing here is, she has to like use strings, use stuff, to get you to just freeze up. And then when you freeze up, she could force her mix-ups better. Her best mix is being probably from full crotch because of this. You know? So she could connect that to set it up, like I just showed. She could uh, cancel, cancel the sweet, uh, cancel the sweet, cancel the while standing one plus two, you know? And then she has some solid, like, long range pokes. Like, that's good. That's uh, this is not as long range, but that's good. You can delay it and hit confirm. You know? And she has like solid counter hit shit. Like, if you try to swing after her jab, that's gonna counter hit launch you. And that's a high damage counter hit launch. You. on counter hit because uh, jungle started too. He's good. Really good. Uh, back to ah this is the one that goes to the string right so just like forward one uh back to one goes into that same stuff And like 1-1 one, one also. So she could go into 1-1 one, one stuff with back 2-1. And she has back 2-4, which is like 1-4. KOF time. Uh, back plus 2 is uh, 12 frame startup? No, 15 frame startup. That's not a natural combo. Neither is that. That is... mid right okay so that that's just i guess a mid option to go into the jab stuff that's really all that is a mid option at least the same mix-ups as their jab stuff was. but she doesn't have the three follow-up or the two just the one just the one and the four but she does have this and that's a combo natural combo and she can cancel out of the back too Back two, one plus two down. It's back two, one plus two. Back two, one plus two. There you go. Back two, one plus two down forces the crouch, right? Uh, and the data here says she's at negative one. Though. She's at negative one. Point of this. this also forces uh, the opponent to crouch, the back two on hit. According to this, though, it's unsafe on block. Back two is. Uh, this is unsafe on block. That's obviously on safe on block and low parallel. Uh, this is safe on block. Back to one. Back to four is negative eleven. Back to one plus two on block is. Um, how can I make her block it? Negative ten. So jab punish. And back to one plus two down. It's not the bot's not going to show it, but this is negative thirteen. It's adding three frames. Oh, and then she has a... Uh... Ah! Knockback. Second hit, Connor hit, gives her the third hit. It's a little damage, though. Uh, yeah, Vince, but if you low crush her and then she does while standing forward, you're gonna get juggled. 
That's why it's a, her full crouch game is strong. Like, uh, I'm gonna try to react. That's a fast window. So I was like, oh, she's crouching. You got floated. And she's gonna get a, a mini juggle. You know? Oh, she's crouching. Oh, I exchanged. I used the 14 frame move to exchange. I exchanged with a 15 frame move. Okay. Exchange with a 13 frame move. I tried to jab. She went under it. Crouch jab might stop her. Right? But then... Oh, I'm sorry. Alright, so that's not... She can't do the fast crush out, crushes out of that, right? That's a good thing. Cross jab might be an okay option. She can just low parry. Alright, so not quite. But the thing is, I'm reacting to her moving forward with a forward 2 animation. gonna react to her then when she actually does the launcher you're gonna get hit like you might be able to do it but you know when you start swinging at that you're you're, you're taking risks don't get me wrong she's taking risks too but you gotta understand that it's like it's not as gimmicky as you as you may think same thing with like this and then that uh that And in the moment she gets you to freeze up, you better get your throw break ready. That's a juggle starter. Series forces crush. All right, so the frame data is like kind of shitty on this stuff, so it's risky. It's a lot of will she or won't she going on here. Oh, I don't need to test this myself. I can just test the bot. No delay on this. So you're not going to sidestep out of these options. Any options. That jails. So that's a good thing. That high is unsafe, but it jails. So they can't duck it. Can't sidestep. Side nope. You gotta guess the mix up. Unless it gets too much range, backdash probably will not be an option. And on 
Bag dash is not an option. Oh yeah, I forgot I forced his crash, so that fucks up the sidestepping anyway. When you got sidestep towards the background. So you gotta guess. So a whole lot of this, she going low, she going mid, or... But at least the stuff off of this is like low reward for just guessing the block. It's when you start mashing after her jab that she starts getting a lot of reward for her damage. Although in this case, the one two, uh, if you uh, duck after her jab and the two hits you, she's gonna get that kick in the end. It's the second and the third hit are natural combo. Oh yeah, there's one thing here to test. So if you try to punish that elbow, that's gonna hit you. How much is this? Oh, wow. Negative 13. There you go. Negative 13. Okay, she's uh, it's not it's not counting as a punish, so it's negative thirteen on that. All right, that's that string. Next we got back three. Oh, this is fucking annoying. This move right here. So a lot of like the shady Oscars or the new Oscars is gonna be doing a lot of going into the follow-ups, you know, or that. Never mind that. You need to punish this the moment you block that first hit. So, whichever you're, if you're fighting against Asuka, whatever your character is, you need to know how to punish that move, that back three. Because then what ends up happening is... It's negative 19 on block, and if you were to approach it with a 19 frame move, that has long range, it's going to interrupt the other shit, no matter what she does. So you need to find your long range punish. And the thing about that is if you block this shallow, it's still, no matter what the range is, it might not reach. The thing about Asuka is, that's 17 frames, so she'll be able to punish her own shit pretty easily, I think. So first, let's just test that part. What other long range launcher does she have? Oh yeah, it has to be a mid, by the way. Punish with a mid. Don't try not to punish with a high. If you can help it. Because then that shit is gonna cr uh, crouch under. To give you an example, that's a 15 frame high. She might not be able to do it, but. That's why you need a mid. You need a mid, a long range mid, preferably a long range mid launcher. If you don't have a long range mid launcher, find something. Dragonov forward 3-2. That'll work. Not a launcher, but it'll work. <laughs> so the fucked up thing about this is it's a juggle starter. On normal hit. I don't know what the combo is.
Oh, unless they took it away. Did they take it away from her? Does she have to commit to that to get a combo now? I wonder. Before, she didn't have to. I don't know what the combo is. Yeah, it looks like she might actually have to uh, commit to the 4-3 uh, afterwards to get an actual combo now. That's weird. Well, alright, so I guess that move kind of got nerfed too. So she has to commit. She has to commit to get the damage. Still an annoying move. Even the first hit by itself. 15 damage. So the thing about this move is it's super freaking evasive. As long as you space it well, it'll clip you quite often, but up close, it, up close, it's not as bad. I don't know if they actually nerfed the uh, evasiveness of this move at all, in all honesty, but there's like a lot of situations where this move would just come out and then my mid would just whiff, but it seems like I'm floating her pretty consistently now. Yeah. Either way it goes, it's not really a move you want to challenge like that. Like, you want to get close and interrupt it, sure, but... From distance, it's a big pain in the ass. Back three. Oh, by the way, a disgustingly normal human, you said she has to uh, rely on a mix-up to get a 10 frame punish? I mean, yeah, but this is plus nine. Her only mix-ups at plus nine aren't like that and that, you know? She could just use the plus nine and go into her regular shit. She has a 15 frame counter hit tool that at plus 9 you won't be able to sidestep. And then she could uh, natural combo back for, uh, back for 2 also if she wants to be safe, I think. Okay, that's not a natural combo, but still. Uh, yeah, if that counter hits, it fucks up her combo, but still. She could throw that out there. She could throw out a safe on block down forward 2. If you press anything at, after a jab, you're going to get launched, whether you're standing or not. Alright? And then if you happen to try to sidestep after a jab, that's going to launch you. Watch. I mean, you can still block, but you can't sidestep. You can't sidestep. You have to block. I think it's at plus nine, you can't really backdash it either. She can make any linear mid track because of uh, because of that those plus frames. It's all frame mid. That shit is linear as hell, right? Any relatively quick linear mid, you're not gonna be able to sidestep. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that that's what you gotta remember. Plus nine is is really gonna work with. It's just shit because it's like. Oh, you got 8 damage. That's the only guaranteed damage. 8. You know? So yeah, you can play it safer and force these kinds of mix-ups, like, sort of safer. You know? But, uh, you could do, uh, you could get creative. You could take the plus 9 and then go crouch. Go crouch out of it. And then force this mix-up. It's just another situation where you get people to freeze up. Like, I feel like most players, they'll just go into the mix-ups. As their jab punish, they'll just use that or that. <laughs> Nobody releases the plus nine, even though I think she could make good use of it. I don't know. That's just me. Though. Anyway, so that's the back three stuff. I mean, even if you end up blocking the follow up, that's just as safe as forward two is by itself. 
but it's also still a launcher. So, don't get hit by it. Uh, also, she could cancel that, by the way. Maybe that's how she combos off of it. Nah, it's not guaranteed. All right, well that's the back three series, the same as it's always been, as far as I know, except maybe the launcher isn't as good. So back four, I talked about it already. 15 frames, safe on block, counter hit starter, counter hit draw starter. Uh, it is plus eight on regular hit, so same thing, same thing as like the jab for the most part. It pushes back about an equal distance too. Well, no, it pushes back more. So in this case, she'll be able to side uh, back dash. Maybe not side step, back dash for sure. No, not quite. Plus eight is too much. Can she sidestep? I doubt it. Yeah, so there you go. Back three into itself is a frame trap. And it, it blows up movement, too. Uh, so that's another uh, solid one. I said back three, back four. Um, and she has that string. I think that's a counter hit string. Yeah. It's shit damage, but it all comes a counter hit because the first hit is a crumple stun. Uh, but that is launch punishable on block. frame punch. Be careful with that sir. And there's no special properties on that mid in the end. So that mid is kind of whatever. It's just to make it so they don't punish the second hit. Yeah, see, that's really all I was there for. It's to interrupt it to you if you try to punish the second hit. But the second hit is only negative 12. So just to stop yourself from eating negative 12, you're going to go that crazy. I don't know. Forces crouch? No, it doesn't. Alright, no punish on 13. No punish. Uh, there's no real tracking as long as you sidewalk. It's a little bit of step tracking, but not much. Up close. And the back four by itself, negative eight. Okay, we're through that already. Next is back plus one plus four. Ah, I didn't know this was like all one button, so she's forced to do both hits when you input this. Natural combo on normal hit. Am I saying that right? Guard off. This is a natural combo. And then she has a mid and a low. This is... 12 frame startup. 12 frame startup. It's plus 5 also. This is pretty good. Well, kinda good. You're forced, because the thing is, you're forced to go high-low. You can't just go high and stop. So, you gotta be wary. But if they don't low pair and they try to block punish, I got a feeling you'll interrupt them. If you ever get to a situation where the first hit hits by itself and the second hit whiffs, it's actually unsafe. Very unsafe. So both the that's the low. They're both punishable. Mid. The mid is more punishable than the low. 
Yeah, it looks like he's right. Force to guess when this hits you. Those five back turn, but the spacing, we went through this before, the spacing makes it a little suspect. Might be really fucked up, but I don't think it's gonna work. Let's see. Okay, good. Holy shit. If that was the mix up, I would have been like, God. So, the only thing I can say is, she blows up Crouch Turnaround from back turn in that situation with forward two, but Turnaround into Stand Block beats it. can't really mix it up because they're too far and uh, you could turn around and block 12 frame high. Uh, if 10 frame high reach, I got a feeling maybe maybe you, you would have to crouch turn around so make it a 50-50. But her 10 frame high doesn't reach. So, I don't know what else can I try. Eleven frame high? Yeah, no. I mean, obviously they didn't reach the first time I did it, so. So yeah, that's kind of whatever. The only, thing you'll, you, the only thing you know is they'll have to turn around a stand block, so maybe you could run up and do something, but. Also, yeah, cross that does work. What am I doing? It's only plus five, so the turnaround crouch jab is gonna be really fast. So that blows up that mix, that um, mix up. So I, I don't really know what the mix up is there. It's probably if there is there, it's, if it is there, it's not a great one. Do her crouch grab after the back turn? What do you mean, offensively? Nah, the, the, the cross jab will uh, hit you if you try to go in on her. That would be the best defensive option, right? So she would have to, like, bait a whiff on you. That would be her, her best way. Like, it's in her favor, but it's not, like, an amazing setup. You get what I'm saying? It just makes it so anyone in the know, they'll know that, alright, I just have to turn around and stand block, and she really doesn't get anything, but if I want to, like, 
can go ham. You can turn around, turn around to a crouch jab. You can do a backwards hop kick. You can do some, some good shit. Well, the back to the hop kick will lose out to the forward too, but it'll hit you out of the air, so she won't get a juggle. Alright. See? That jab won't work out. The low works. Also, um, if you're saying do the the crouch grab. Can't, you can't do that instantly. You can do, uh, basically, the only thing that comes out seamlessly at a back turn is the universal options, like that back turn crouch jab. That's why it's so fast. Her crouch grab has to be facing you. So I would have to recover from the back turn facing her and then input the crouch jab. Uh, crouch grab. So I can't do that. It won't come out seamlessly. Alright. So Asuka's for a block punish and he's just gonna be kinda whatever. mention that opens up um back turn hop kick. The only thing I can tell you is what what's good about that is if they turn around to stand block when they think the forward two is coming. The crouch jab will reach, uh, the crouch grab will reach. So that's what makes that option good. But of course, it could just break it. But it's not like a forced mix up per se, you know? Sleepy, sleepy, sleepy. Alright. What time is it? 1231? Damn. I've been at it for a while, haven't I? Exclamation point uptime, 4 hours and 7 minutes. Mid is negative 14. That's not the mid. Let's see. Oh, so even if the low hits you, you gotta punish. You know, uh oh. You got a low parry. You can still low parry. Okay, good. But it is natural combo, so. And you can interrupt. But the mid beats you out. A 
Okay, so the mid comes out faster than the low for sure. The low has a counter property to it. The low is that good one hit with pushback. Oh, excuse me. Fucking sleepy, sleepy, sleepy. Yeah, it's not even two on hit, but it pushes back. Eh. Yeah, it's kind of whatever. Kind of whatever. Next we have the 14 frame punish up forward two. I didn't test the tracking on that shit, did I? tracks really well. If you're sharp, you can low parry it, I guess. If you, if you know it's coming, if you're used to the scene and animation. But, uh, eh, I don't know about that. So I'm thinking it's mostly like a punishment thing. You don't want to use this regularly. Yeah, it's like no tracking on that shit. push back on that. Yeah. That's another uh, solid pushback set that a lot of Oscar players use. Can-cans after some pushback. Frame it is here, it is plus if he doesn't get the hit throw. It says it still says plus, but it doesn't know how much. Alright, well anyway. The up forward two it is. So next we got up forward three. And like I showed earlier, this is a counter hit jungle starter. Whatever the hell the actual combo is. This is uh, pretty good on block. This is why I see Oscar players do this back to back sometimes. Like you block when you try to go low and then she gets you. Not the cross jab, but if you got the th the 12 frame low, it catches her. When you do anything slower, wow, it went <laughs> it went over the 14 frame low can cans at negative two. Yes, this is a good low crush. Great on block. Pushback on it though. But only negative three, so that's good. Yeah, I did a. I have Vince was in here, he knows. I did a Lisa already in the YouTube. Whew. 
20 frame startup. Plus 8 on the hit. So plus 9. Moves her a little bit to the to your right. Moves your opponent to your right. Or either or it's moving me to the left. Hard to tell. We're definitely not on axis after that though. So if they were to block this. No, you're still on axis if they block it though. If it hits them, you probably wouldn't be sidestepping anyway. But just know you could force your mix-ups if it hits them. And hell, if it hits them, then back-to-back -back is pretty good, because there's only a few things that are going to beat you out. Right, so... Like a jab is going to work. Uh, 12 frame exchanges. Look at that, 12 frame exchange. 11 frame is going to work. So they do 13 frames. Boom. At least that puts you airborne fast. Yeah. Alright, so low crushes will put you airborne quick enough to not get counter hit by that. So you can avoid the, the, the juggle. That's interesting, bro. Uh, not that you should be mashing at, <laughs> at negative 8 or 9 or whatever this is anyway. Negative 8 plus 8 for the opponent. Uh, for you, if you connect. So the opponent shouldn't be mashing when they get hit by that anyway. But yeah, obviously, it keeps her up close. So uh, that knee is always what you gotta have in mind. That's your main counter hit, too. Anytime you're plus 5 or better, or in the case of the low, plus 4 force crops or better. You always gotta have this in the back of your mind. That doesn't mean always do this. That means, oh, they're mashing? Boom. That's gonna fucking wreck them. That, that looks like it should track to one side, to her, uh, oh, to the left. If it were to track, that would be the guess, right? Or it has zero tracking at all. Yeah, no tracking on that shit. Her tracking seems kind of whatever, like bad in general. Good thing she has a great homing move. <laughs> that. But it's a high. Alright, so next we got a 4-4. Four four. It's her slow-ass hop kick. Uh, 20 frames instead of 15 frames for hop kick, but it is still negative 13. And it has more range. More range than your average hop kick. It's like Bob's, except I think Bob has even more range. But the hitbox isn't great. This is one of those where at the tip, I feel like you can duck under it for the tip. I think I did that one time with the back three, didn't I? Okay, there's no tracking at all. Who should turn around? Punish on that. A negative 13, okay. Alright, that's our hop kick. Uh, now we got 4 4 1. Oh, plus on block, you say. It's plus 4. Alright, good move. One of those moves that it's slow startup. I mean, you could try to use it in a neutral. It is a forward forward move, so even if it wasn't tracking, it would help with the realignment. That's a big whiff. Big whiff. You don't want to whiff that. But, like any other forward-forward move, if you hold the second forward for a bit and then hit the input, 
you will help the track. The real way to use this move is to tech. Off of attack. When you, you're gonna knock the opponent out and they tech, you know they're gonna be unable to sidestep and boom, right upside the head. Uh, and this is especially gonna be effective at the wall. Especially since it knocks down on normal head. So this is a great Oki tool. When you can when you can work it in. That would floor it looks like that would floor break on normal head. Wow, they stay down, guaranteed. You can follow up with another one when it hits them. Good damage, too. And that's obviously her rage drive, the regular version of her rage drive. <laughs> I think that might be guaranteed. That might be guaranteed. Try to smash. Yeah, if you time it well, that's guaranteed. And if they try to mash Waco Kick, you get that launcher. It's pretty sick. Which means at the wall, where I, where I suggest using it, it's gonna be guaranteed too. If they mash when they wake up, and you hit them, follow that shit up. And she probably gets other shit for free too. Near the wall. I wonder if this is guaranteed too. Some of this stuff might be guaranteed, I don't know. But she definitely has some, at least some solid open health mesh. Um, this is a good move. Very good move. And it's a counter hit. Juggle starter. I know he's different. Gross. Very good move. Man, she has a lot of counter hits. Well. Four forward two. All right, I just want to make it. So that's a natural combo. So this is a good wall splat, mid high. Uh, safe on block with a lot of pushback. Negative five on block, but with this much pushback, it doesn't matter what it is. As long as, you know, as long as it's uh, safe, as long as it's not like negative 16 or some shit. So, negative five is about to be zero in this situation for the most part. Um, let me start rage for that shit, I guess. Um, and it is a natural combo, a normal hit with pushback. If they don't back quick roll,
four 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 two. Is that four four two? Four 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 two. Okay. That's not natural. Oh, she got mid mid. So the mid mid is big duck the high, and then of course the mid mid is on the sink. Negative 13. So we don't we don't really need to test the tracking on this. You know how fold forward tracking works, I explain it sometimes. Fold forward and you hold the second forward to delay the input. It'll help with the tracking always, but it'll delay the move. No punish. There you go. 13 frames. You delay it. Quite a bit. This wasn't the song I thought it was. Whatever, that's fine. So if you delay it, you get no tracking. But as long as you uh, don't delay it, you're gonna get the you're gonna catch the sidestep. So 4421 in general is a solid whiff punisher. And it's always been one for her. I think she's had it since like Tekken 6. I mean, that's the 442. 4421, mid high, 4423, mid mid. 442, 1 plus 2. In the case of, uh, if you're going to choose a mid, 442, 1 plus 2 is more damage, but it's unsafe. 4 more damage. 4423 is safe on the block. And negative 8. So that, uh, 4 points less damage. I don't, I don't get why you would use the 1 plus 2 over the other one. I guess because they wall split. They both wall split. Right, weird. And they both combo and counter hit. Right? Yeah, they both combo and counter hit. Oh, the mi okay, the 1 plus 2 combos on normal hit too. Okay. So there you go. You want to save on block when you need to counter it for it to combo. So now we got 443, solid long range homie move that's safe on block. Causes that sort of knockdown on hit. No free follow ups, but it is head toward. They get up pretty quick though. Like, you're probably gonna. I don't know if you're gonna be able to beat a waker. Wow, it whiffed. <laughs> uh, yeah, they 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 get up too quick for you to really get any solid oki. At best, you can hook right up and then try to make something whiff and then punish it. That's the cool thing about that shit. No matter how far away she knocks you, she can run up and bait something and forward too. Bait a wake up kick, bait whatever the fuck, and just blow you up for it. For like with like a full launcher, that's not a thing that everybody has access to. Not very many have access to that. Least. You have to get like for Jin, for example, you have to get a crouch dash one ready. So you have to do that whole input, you know, that easy to fuck up unless you're used to it. Urge, run up, wait, forward to easy. Yeah, negative nine. Safe on block, no pushback. Not much to say, it's homing. Yeah, and 
and block, but it's not a punch. Okay, so we got four forward four. This is like a jumping safe on block high juggle start. And whatever the pickup is. Oh, that's how you use that string. New shit. Alright. Uh, what's up, Chiba Marines? I've been at it for four and a half hours. I think I'm close to finish. I'm, like, losing steam really fast. Uh, I should have stuck to doing, like, two parters. Because doing this shit for, like, this long in one sitting... Oof, especially when I start late. And I'm tired and shit. Man, the one of my arrows fucks this up. Four forward suit right after a launch. It's like dragging off shit. on block. Shit. That's a pretty good move. Next move on the list. So while running three, variable frame data, even at worst, zero on block at worst, plus four at best. Seeing as how this is used in Oki a lot and has so many active frames, you can probably set this up to get you at least plus like a little bit. I don't know, it's always registering as zero, so I, I, I can't tell if that's even true or not. But it is pushing back anyway. So, yeah. I would have swing after this, I'd be very careful, because it's spaced out for her to, to launch it for. Thirty-two damage. Thirty-eight. Oh, that's all good, dude. 
Don't worry about it. Glad I could help. You know how I do. <sighs> so while running three, it is a solid uh, low crush. She jumps for quite a while, and it covers a lot of distance. I feel like it's covered more distance than her than your average running three slash kick. So it's solid. Yeah, air grab scaling, man. They added it in this game. It wasn't like that before. Alright, next is while standing one. This is 15 frames, right? And then she gets a while standing one four out of it. So this is like her this is her while standing 50 frame punisher. Um, ah, so she gets a guaranteed follow-up. That's another thing, her hot kick is slower, so it does way more damage, 25. That's a strong single hit. One of the really slow ones you could react to. Not the not your typical like uh, you know people say like maybe twenty in the mid twenties, twenty five, twenty six frames, that's when things start becoming reactable. Like that. And then she can fake you out. Standing one four is solid. Fifteen frames. It's not a launcher, but hey, she's gonna have to work with what she has. Um, and even in a neutral situation, Track step, okay. That's interesting. And there's no way in hell they're gonna step it, uh, walk it off of that low. Back one. Oh, <laughs> spoke too soon. Alright. Can't step it though. She can walk it.
Isn't that like a 13 frame? Wow. Even that plus six, huh? So while standing two. So lost thing to myself is kind of whatever, but it goes into the one, which kind of has its own built-in follow-up. Lost any two, one, one, four. Two, one, one, three. This is a ten hit, isn't it? Yeah. So the while staying two one and all that shit, this is her ten hits. So I wouldn't um they're not blocking it, so I wouldn't uh that stuff. <laughs> if I were you guys. Alright, so just while saying to myself, it's just a little bootleg dirty frame punish. While standing three is her actual while standing launcher. Launch punishable, but she backflips. So you gotta you gotta have some range. Standing three, test the block punish. I think it was 16, right? This is the problem. You block it shallow, you're not going to launch it unless you have range. Asuka would have problems launching this by herself. This is a fucked up move. This is why you see a lot of Asuka players. They'll do the, uh, you know, they'll just throw that shit out from like this range because if you block it, it's probably going to be a shallow block. So it's going to be really hard to punish. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be uploading this uh, probably tonight. If not tonight, then tomorrow morning. I said it's an upload. Um, I'm back. Yeah, it's Wall Standing 3. It's not a great block punisher, but it's a great, like, you know, but it's there for you when you block the really bad lows. But um, also, this used to flip them head towards. Now you get a regular ass launcher. Be always be this pickup for her juggles. I don't know what to do post tailspin, but it's like four four two three two one one plus two every fucking time, and it's like good damage.
All right, take it easy, you disgustingly normal human. Have a good night. All good, amigo, all good. Plus eight. All right, at least this is plus eight. Hey, while standing 2 1 is a natural combo. And that is plus 9. So this would be her 13th frame. While standing 2 1. Well, that's a high, that kick. I didn't know that. Wow, it's not even tough, but it pushes back. Yeah, this is good at least in a neutral in general. You guys should be careful because it's super unsafe. Like, uh, because it's mid high. It's like, unsafe if they duck it. Oh, she could do this from full, full crowd too. Forgot about that. I don't know if she gets this anymore. She needs to be able to get a launch. Like, if you execute this perfectly. Now she needs to get a forward two if you execute it perfectly, but now it's only plus 16. Plus 25? Well, that's, that's not right. It's not right. The friend did it here is wrong. I guess the easy mode thing to do is just while standing one floor. Oh, wow. What are you just going to do that? You must have go right into the kick, right? Nope, no J. 
jail on that one, okay. So I said he won't pursue as a cheap move. Because it's only negative two on block. doesn't track. Native two on block, uh what's that one plus two? Plus five on it. But it has some pushback, so be careful with what you swing with afterwards. But you are plus five, so it does set up the knee if they mash. Don't want to exchange something like a fang palm. And while standing on pursuits, and one of those you could cancel. Tracking counter hit juggle starter plus five on hit minus two on block. Startup is 21 frames. It's pretty slow. It's not really something you use in a mix up. It's something you throw up here to get close. And then it's a safe on block thing. So it's another way to get in full crouch if you cancel. And you get them afraid to mash by actually letting it rock. So good move. It's like an elbow, too. Yeah, that's an elbow. You can't counter that. Counter. It's an elbow. And we got the full crouch kicks. Full crouch down three plus four. And then you can press three after. Uh, if you don't hold down afterwards, you you stay standing. If you hold down afterwards, you stay crouching. You recover crouch. And the same thing for the follow-up. Uh, three plus four crouch down three plus four three. You stay standing unless you hold down. Stay crouching. I don't know if that's guaranteed, but frame exchanges between the kicks but you could pick up a jab which is dangerous because she can recover crouching after the first one um, apparently the second one is zero on block force crouch yeah Not even an exchange. There it is. <laughs> yeah, zero on block. Uh, the frame data doesn't change whether she recovers crouching or standing. 
the first uh, kicks are uh, negative six. Doesn't force crouch. So not really much you can do with that. But it does make it so if you try to swing at the second one, you open yourself up to get launched by wall standing three. If she becomes crouching. So that's why you don't always want to just swing at this. At the double kicks. And like I said, a 12 frame exchange is maybe if you want to swing, you go with the 12 frame mid if you have that option. Right? And you'll exchange with her. I don't know. That's kind of whatever. It's a little gimmicky. It's pretty gimmicky. Especially since she's gonna go uh, at negative six little crouch, you can sidestep everything from crouch. And with that big a window, you can probably sidestep the second kicks. Yep. Yeah. So there's no, there's nothing there. There's nothing to that. Maybe that's like an Oki tool. She doesn't recover crouching. A good follow up to that, I'll bet. Not so much. Nothing for Connor. Hit. Does the same thing on normal and on counter hit. The second kicks. So maybe a free follow up, I don't know. Let's take that hit grounded. Be guaranteed. That looks guaranteed to me. Which means. grounded hit but not like a pickup. It's not like the counter hit off a of forward three where you pick up with um, or up forward three rather. It's not like this. Ugh. I thought it would be maybe like that but it's not not like that. We do get the uh, rage uh, rage attack whenever rage drive. Where's that whole nonsense? Negative six or zero force crouch. Plus five on regular hit with force crouch on the first kick. That's plus five. So you can stay standing with plus five or you could go crouching with plus five. That's cool. Uh, 
Uh, so now we got the, the full crouch series. I went through this already. It's only negative 11 on block. It is zero on hit. I think it used to be plus on hit. I might be wrong, but I feel like uh, this used to be plus three or something. It's only zero now, so she actually doesn't keep the mix up after it hits. And it pushes back. So that's cool. Good to know. I don't have to respect that on hit like I used to. Because of that, she can't like, uh, she recovers, yeah, she recovers crouching. So she doesn't have the threat of any long range lows other than a generic down three. That might be the only thing that reaches a back dash. So that's what I would do against this. Not even. <laughs> so there's no low that's going to reach you. So you'd have to do like some crazy shit to get in your face again, like, uh, you know, and then whatever, right? She'd have to get you uh, afraid of pressing buttons somehow, right? With like while standing three, you don't want to swing because of while standing three after that, I'm sure, right? With that kind of pushback. Blows up highs. Oh, there you go. That's a good example. <laughs> I knew it was something. Wow, that forward one has a better hitbox than I thought. Same for her down forward two. Go for, good for her. But not for that shit. I knew there'd be some sort of mid. Look at that. You gotta have a mid with a decent hitbox to hit her out of that shit. And yes, this is mid. See. One of the mix that she has is uh, this mid kick. Uh, yeah, it's yet another counter hit jungle side as, she, as if she needed more, right? So that's full crouch uh, down forward three. So this is full crouch down forward two the low, and then on counter hit you get a guarantee while standing one four. That's the easy thing to do. You, uh, apparently, I think you can still get a crouch cancel down forward two if you input it absolutely perfectly. But we're talking like that's really fucking hard to do. So just do while standing one, two, it's the free follow or whatever it is. Uh, just do like, it's a forward two, I guess. So throw away your okey, but as long as you get something. Um, negative 11 on block on the low. That's a pretty fast low, too. Alright, yeah. It tracks really well, too tracks really fucking well. So that means it's a great follow-up for this shit right here. Yeah, off of that, I can't hop kick it. I have to do something like can-cans. Which didn't counter here, so that would not a combo. Yeah. So your generic hop kick will be unable to crush that low after back one. That's very important. Uh, you're gonna want to know that if you're an Oscar player. You can comfortably throw that out there knowing that you don't have to deal with hop kicks. At best, there could be a low parry in you for their mini jungle. And then it's like what? Yeah, look at that. Negative 13 doesn't punish. Negative 11 punishes. Sorry. Um, yeah, negative 11 punishes. Negative 13 doesn't. Great follow-up. And the full crouch... Uh, let me see something. So the full crouch mid is uh, negative 13 on block, plus 3 on hit. There it is, plus 3 on hit. Why did it show plus 8 before? See if the pushback does anything. 
Nope. Okay, so yeah, negative 13 on block. For Asuka, it's just negative 12, I guess. So you get that. Get the negative 12 punish. With negative 13, if you get max punish, right? Whew. We're almost done. We're almost done. Is that low at all plus on hit? It is zero on hit. Who is my next character? Maybe Huarang. Huarang might be like a three-parter. I can't do another like five-hour stream like this. It's <laughs> not straight at least. Uh, it's killing me. At least like at least doing just just labbing. I I could do like long streams, long sessions playing something else, but doing just labbing is like oh, feels like doing homework at a certain point. Um, we're almost there. Yeah, so the mid, uh, I don't think the mid has any real tracking. The low tracks absolutely looks like, uh, that mid is a good option for that too. Because it crushes. So you can't jab her. You can only cross jab her, right? And then a 12 frame mid, which is a rare, exchanges if she gets the counter hit juggle. So the mid is a good option there too. But the tracking is not really there. Ugh. So it's the low that'll keep you still. The mid only tracks to her right. Oh, good, she's standing. Okay, good. You can do a down forward too, because she's standing. Yeah, so they hit a 13, no pushback. Only plus three on hit. Okay, and the tracking is only good to her right side. Well, at least at a plus six situation. And like a cross jab on block situation. That's reliable. Yeah. Okay. Definitely reliable tracker to her right side. All right. That's full crouch. Down four dude. That's a big full crouch stuff. So now we're almost done here. We go. We got two side step moves. Side step four. Ooh, that's interesting. That's a juggle starter encounter. Hit a high. And side step two, this is a classic right here. This is like a double side step, but we see how she's leaning to her left when she does it. So when you side step left and then do it again, do it, uh, do it right away, you lean extra into the left side. So there will be situations where this might get around stuff that a, uh, average side step left might not. Like maybe, I thought it worked for this, but maybe that. Yeah, no, that's, that's just too reliable. Situations, let's say where, let's say situations where um, a move tracks sidestep in that direction, but it won't track sidewalk. Then you can just commit to that shit, and it'll double up if they uh, do any other linear shits. And so it'll it'll be like you know it'll be like a little double sidestep kind of thing. So this isn't a combo starter at all. But this is good for the wall, I think. It's negative nine on block. Yeah, it's safe. That looks good for the tracking. Quite well. I mean, it's a high, but it's a good hitbox on that high. Negative six. Ha! 
Next, we got the Forward 1 series, which I kind of already went through before. So it's the same thing as if you do 1-1, one, one, you get 1-1-3, one, one, you get Forward 1, th uh, sorry, you get Forward 1-3. Same thing, Forward 1-4, four, Forward 1 down 4, Forward 1 down 4 cancel. So there's nothing new to find here. Same situations. Uh, the Forward 1 by itself does start at 17 frames. None of this is natural on normal hit, though. I take that back. Okay, no, I don't take that back. Okay, that's counter hit. That's... Ah, there you go. So, forward one is 20 frame startup. So, you have a 20 frame counter hit juggle starter here. With uh, uh, forward one down four. For a lot of damage. High risk, though. Same as 1 4. So, just like 1 4 4, you go down back 4 4. Or 1 4 4 4, down back 4 4 4. Uh, and then down back 4 3, if you hit 3 at any point. Same thing with two of them. And then 3. Gimmicky shit. I'm almost done and just missed all of uh, Asuka. Oscar. No counter hit. But the counter hit does get for the launch. Ooh. Ah, counter hit on the second one gives her a juggle starter. Each one of these on counter hit is a juggle starter. Okay. But not the first one. Unless you do the three. So. And she can recover crouching. On any of them. What's LCT? It's something called LCT here. I don't know what that is. Oh. Oh. Okay. So, this down back four shit. Okay. 
So this down back four series, these series of lows, right? Whether you go into it with jab or not, they're called LCT. I don't know what that's short for. And at any point, that means there's two options. There's the three, you know, the launch, and then there's the down back four. Well, and you go right into the one plus four series with the same option. And that's why that's where the infinite comes from. Right? into itself so to get away from that that high in the end there that third high you can duck that like I said before and you should because if you don't you gotta deal with the same built-in mix-ups that are out of her jab can mix up city Yeah, th three ring circus or some shit. Yeah, I forgot whatever the fuck it's called. This could be easily overwhelming where, when you don't know, like, oh, where to duck and shit. Because you can't really sidestep. So in case you don't get, you don't remember all the inputs there. So you got down back four if you want to start it, right? Or down back four, four. Or at any point out of these lows, you hit one plus four. To go into the dance, the one plus four three ring circus. All right, and then after one plus four, you hit two to get that jab, and then after that jab, you hit one. So one plus four, two, one, and then when you hit that one, you go back into the series of the jab series. So down back four, one plus four, uh, down back, down back four, one plus four, two, one, four, one plus four, two, one, four, one plus four. That's what I was doing. Down back four. 1 plus 4, down back, down back 4, 1 plus 4, 2, 1, 4, 1 plus 4, 2, 1, 4, 1 plus 4. With a delay. I accidentally fucked up in the end here. That's some annoying shit. <laughs> that, that is so obnoxious. But yeah, she has that option. These lows were better than I thought, but they're risky. does break your, your guard. If you don't hold back, you're gonna get launched. And you can just interrupt the lows. As long as you block one, you can interrupt the next one. As long as you're not slow like I just was. Wow, tw uh, 13 frame exchange. So you can interrupt with a 12 or 11 frame, or a 10 if you have that option. Or you can just low pair and get your juggle. So that's that stupid string, and that's pretty much the end of her move list, of her unique shit. Let's see here. Alright, let's break some floors.
as I thought. It's something to know that that's possible. Does it have any uses? Yeah, it might overwhelm your opponent if they don't know how to deal with, like, the jab stuff. But once the, uh, you get used to seeing it, you, you realize, oh, you just duck that high and launch her. Like, it's hard to sidestep, too. It's like, and you can't really duck it. Like, you used to be able to duck that high, like I said before, but it jails. That high right there in the end, it jails now. But because of the pushback, sometimes it's going to whiff. It gets weird when it whiffs. Okay, that does a floor break. So yeah, I was right. Down back. Uh, down back one two. That's your floor break. Uh, your mid stage floor break is probably gonna be forward forward one. So like, uh, what do I do here? Seven damage. Granted, you got like the full jungle plus floor break while you had rage on. But still, that's fucked up. So I was curious about what could floor break for her, right? situation, I guess. Hmm. Like, that breaks the floor, obviously, right? Hmm. 
Yeah, she can't break the floor off of that. Or she can, if I just did the, um... Yeah, she can. Actually, I think she can. One throw breaks floors. I forgot to check her, her grabs. Wow. Oh yeah, destabilizer. <laughs> This is an unbreakable throw that gives her frame advantage. <laughs> this is a good move because it sets that up. See? I think it gives her plus six. It, uh, it's a 20 frame throw apparently. Me? It is a 20 frame throw. Oh, it's a high. I don't know why it says mid. Maybe it's not a 20 frame throw. I don't know what I was saying. <laughs> When you keep him, when you get him to, to get scared of the, um, to get scared of the mid, the knee, that low gets opened up, and then they will need to do something faster than 13 frames to interrupt it, and exchanges otherwise. It's pretty good. Many ways to get free advantage. She has no shortage of that. Shit. Man, but nothing floor breaks. They don't want you to break the floor with this, because then she'd get some crazy fucking damage, I think. That's fucked.
Oh, I should just wave. Alright, that's really good damage. So. She ha uh, she's one of the fortunate few that has a command grab on one of her non one plus two bricks. So that means for White Mountain, you need to break it with a two. You can't just press either punch. Also, this is my floor break. That gets broad. She probably gets a good okay for all this shit. Her throws uh, have always given her a good Oki, I think. They all leave you, like, right next to her and shit. Plus two plus three. Okay, so not great Oki off of that because you lose the wake up kick. Okay, that's a slow one. What about the middle one? Okay. So the two throw gives good okay. Switch the sides on success. Um, one throw, same side. Command grab, switch the sides. Uh, down forward, two plus three. Uh, back plus one plus two doesn't switch sides. Two plus, uh, the two throw doesn't switch sides on break, but you do get this uh, angle, like you change it up. So it is a way to get away from the wall. Uh, one throw, one throw kind of moves you around in a circle. Back plus one plus two does switch sides on break. Ah, the generic throw break. So. I just move around in circles a little bit here. Okay. The unfortunate reality is her mids, her grounded hitting mids, 
from what I could tell. You can't rely on them to cover both of the side rolls, but in those situations, if they side roll, stay down the side roll, and it whiffs, it's a pro it's a safe whiff. You could bet, unless it gets to your back somehow, it's a safe whiff. So that gives you a solid uh, option of always having a down four four to keep you covered if they stay down the side roll. The question is, does a down four four lose to wake up kicks? Jibbo, what's up, man? I wish uh, I wish I wasn't about to call it quits for the night. I'm freaking exhausted. So the good thing here is, okay, yeah. So the down back four is beating her out, and if she were to stay down, it's gonna hit her grounded. Yeah, and it's counter hitting her. So not that you could confirm that, but if you want to try to throw out the high afterwards in case they're mashing, it'll work out in your favor. See, it's gonna cover both side rows. So then it becomes a situation of each mix it up with mid of choice. Because if they wake up, uh, this isn't super reliable, but is it gonna whiff? That's the big question. Which I don't think so. Not at that angle. What about here? They'll be able to block it, of course, but it's not gonna whiff. All right, this one might whiff. If I let me record it on myself. That was the two throw. Oop. Try it again. Okay, good. It reaches. So you got reliable low to go with the uh, mid, with the down forward three. Or the forward two if you want to get crazy with it. Both will beat out people mashing wake up kicks. Good options all around. So both her generic two throw and her generic one throw give her good okie. Uh, same can be said for her command grabs though. This uh, at best you could bait out whiffs on the uh, wake up kicks and then use forward two of course. But uh. Where am I going? I'm going here. Man, I got like no energy left. <laughs> All right, um, wake up, blow, right? Well, and uh, when your back is to the wall, it's a different story. Here, though, also I think the slow is slower. Okay, okay, so we actually have, might have something here. Let's go wake up mid. Unfortunately, okay, there it goes. It's the mid I was worried about. Ah, but you're close. When their back is to the wall. Ah, you can't quite do that. This is 20 frames. But the 17 frame got her. Ah, if I set the reset to the wall, it's going to be loading. All loaded. Bah! Alright. Let's see, 17. What do I have? 18 frame up forward. I could test up forward one. Just for 18 frames. Alright. Hmm. So, the 20 frame loss. This is 20, right? 20 frame loss. Do I have anything that's 19 frames? Shit, I don't know. That's not. Well, nothing that's good for Oki, at least. Gonna be 19 frames. That's uh, 23. So you have to worry about wake up me beating you, but at least the low is the true scary option anyway. So if you can beat the low, you don't want to get counter hit by the low. Yeah, see, you don't want that to happen. Um, if their back is to the wall and you get this throw, I guess I would recommend down forward three because you get a wall split out of it. Oh, sorry, no, down forward three is too slow. Didn't I beat it up? Didn't I beat up the low? Or am I crazy? Ah, I'm doing the generic low. That's why. Ooh, exchange. That's a bad exchange. So I guess forward two is the answer, but they'll be able to block that. That's that's fucked. You don't want that blocked. So the Oki off of the one plus two throw is uh, eh, not great. I wouldn't commit to forward two all the time. That's too risky. 
I'd rather try to bait out a wake up kick, and then if they stay down, let them get up. Fuck it. You don't have to like follow up every freaking grab. Last thing you that that's what gets you hit by counter hit wake up lows, which are universally uh, juggle starter. You don't want to eat those like that. It's a pain in the ass to deal with. Yeah, but uh, on that note, I think I'm pretty much done with this character for now, right? I guess the, uh... Is down by three? OC? What the fuck does OC mean again? On crouch? Uh, forces crouch. It's weird that they use that term. So yeah, I guess the, the gist of this character is, uh, her block punishment is absolute garbage, right? Uh, like, you know, that's your 10 frame punisher, a single jab. Single jab into a built-in mix-up, or use the advantage. And you get your 12 frame punisher at 2-3. And you got your 14 frame high punisher up forward two is a hip throw. And then 15 frame launch if they recover standing down forward two. Otherwise, you need 16 frames to launch them with a mid one plus two. Because down forward two doesn't launch uh, crouchers unless it's counter hit. Right? One more time. Bah, right? Um, but on counter hit, you get the launch. Uh, in my opinion, she's has one of the best rage drives in the game because it hits grounded. Amazing. That's 4 4 1 plus 2. Really good. Just don't fuck it up. A lot of situations I found here and where it's guaranteed. You know, like this at the wall. When you're at the wall, you get you get a guaranteed. Um, and the full crouch shit. The swipe. Pop. Pop. So basically, the general gist of it is you want to get them afraid enough so you can get in their face at full crouch. That's the general gist of this character, in my opinion. You know, and you got all these cancels to get in their face full crouch, you know, and then you got the full crouch launch throw, figure out the juggle off of that. You have one of the best long range whiff punishers in the game, which will uh, yet another deterrent from mashing from far away, and that whiff punisher has the crouch cancel attached to it. So it's all good shit all day long, and then, you know, you got like some solid built in defensive tools too. If you want to re rely on it. Don't rely on that too much, though. That loses the elbows. And when she recovers on whiff, she's launch punishable. Um, back plus one amazing move to get in and force your full crouch makes up plus six on hit. And your main counter hit tool from standing is the back four. Always remember back four. But then she has a shitload of other counter hit launches like down back four, three, forward one, uh, down four. Oh, and she has a normal hit low juggle starter, right? So, easy as juggles to, if you're not picking up on a situation like that, where you have to pick up a while standing, like, if you're in a situation where you have to pick up like that, while standing 2-1, two, 2-1, one, two, one, one plus 2, to so whatever, any other situation, forward, forward, 2-3, two, 2-1, two, one, one plus 2, it's the easiest shit, and then whatever the fuck you do afterwards. You need a floor break, post hit, corkscrew, forward, forward, 1, forward, forward, 1 is good, Oki tool, plus 4 on block, absolutely. <clears throat> Absolutely horrendous on whiff. Uh, yeah, and she does way more damage than she used to. She did a lot of damage in Tag 2, but that's because Tag 2 was Tag 2. Uh, in Tekken 6 and Tekken 5 and shit, she didn't do a lot of damage. In this game, she she has good damage. Her hop kick is slower, but be, but the trade-off is a lot of damage. 25 without rage. So, yeah. Can she get can she get it off the hop kick? I think she can. Uh, don't fuck it up though. Yeah, well she might not get the forward forward two off the hop kick. Oh there it is. <laughs> yeah. And uh, don't forget the counter hit on the full crouch low. Guarantee you while standing that it's a, a free follow-up. If you have rage. Guaranteed. Too bad you can't floor break off of that, then you get a full juggle off of uh, that. And if you're god mode, you apparently can crouch cancel down forward two for a full launch. Good luck doing that, though. No, you're not gonna get it. <laughs> I'm not gonna get it, that's for sure. You're talking about crouch canceling and down forward two at one frame. That's like, we're talking about some super just frame shit. I feel like this was plus 17 in Tekken Tag 2. I don't know if that's that's the case. Yeah. I don't know if that was true. Whatever, it's only plus 16 here apparently. So. Don't mind the Tekken bot for any of that. It's not something that consists of shit. Oh yeah, and down back 3. Really good low poke. 
a lot of range, force crouch, plus four force crouch. So if they while standing forward, it's going to exchange with your 15 frame counter hit knee, which will be to your advantage. Yeah, that's Asuka. All right, hope you guys learned something. I sure did. I'm going to go pass out or something. I'm fucking tired. Shout out to Jibbo. Thanks for the late game hosts. <laughs> Nobody's left. I'm out of here, people. Have a good night, y'all. Peep the YouTube downstairs. That's where I'll be throwing this video.